Alright, hey, who wants to start off? Ross, you started off. Take it away, Ross. Special, gr- special guest, uh, Dino Bosco? Or- yep, the racist asshole is finally here. How is it going, people out there? Anybody else? Is Say Nothing going to say anything? No? No? <laughs> Alright, well, hear nothing? Wait, that's you? Yeah. Alright, take it away. See nothing? See no- oh, wait. well, I, yeah. What are wait. you fucking up, fucking up? Why am I? You, wait. You're, I'm fucking up? He, he's seen nothing. You're hearing nothing. Right, but it's hard he's to hear. I, I didn't hear anything, though. Yeah. I was talking too much. <laughs> the, all right, so, uh, and then right. I didn't see anything. Oh, and then fuck. John didn't say anything? He just kind of slugged it. Then, and we're here with Ross Rubino. And we're here with, oh, 15 resolutions to reduce your dementia risk. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, so guys, I got an awesome surprise for all of you. Surprise. Uh, I thought, you know, um, since nobody really, we never really had an episode that uh, we let people know who we are, what we're part of. So I'd like to give an intro. And we should start instead of what we're about. Because who gives a shit what we're about? Mm-hmm. Uh, but how about our... I looked up our last names, you know? Okay. On Urban Dictionary. So who who wants to... Let, let's start out with... Yeah, jo- John. Dude, I didn't want my last name on this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing I told you when we started this. Right. Oh, fuck. Well, so, I'll, I'll wait, edit it out. Let's start something else. We can start with Schmidt. Okay. Yeah. Well, either way, your last name that's edited out... <laughs> it's a, Dude, you got the best one. The the best thing that could happen to you, whoa, a, your last name just talk to me, smiley face. That's what it's. Uh, I'm not. I'm that's not kidding, great. man. What? That's yeah, great. That's Urban Dictionary. That's what that means. Oh, yeah. Like that experience. That's what your last name means. Yeah. You can describe you, that experience. You with can t- use mine. Yeah, Rub- Rubino. We got a, uh, just a big asshole. Someone who is such a dickhead, that you can't tolerate him. This guy, Frank, was being such a Rubino last night in front of those girls. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> who wrote that? Is that you, Phil? No, I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, you know what I'm wondering is who wrote mine? They fucking misspelled Liseki. They, they misspelled it with a P. Lip Iki. It's literally exactly the same except with a P. Okay. But I'm pretty, sh- they, I'm pretty offended because I'm not a nun. The rest, they got, to, they got a Hawaiian t-shirt wearing nun. Alternatively, a stupid Polak. Wow, that that Lisecki is breaking the nun dress code. <laughs> I think this uh, was um, talking about my father, not me, because it just destroys my father perfectly. You know what? We've got some family va- values on this show. Yes. Just reminding you there. Sorry. And Bill's got the longest one, <laughs> Schmidt. Great. The, the coolest last name that will ever happen in the history of the universe. If you're a Schmidt, everyone will want to talk to you and be your friend. Wow, you're so cool. You must be a Schmidt or something. And then we got... The reason why it's cool, because, you know, uh, there's a bunch of... There's a, there's, there's a bunch of definitions. You know, it depends, I guess, from what <laughs> dialect you're from. Okay, sure. Like, uh, for the Schmidt also means to suck a dick for attention. <laughs> she gave him a Schmidt last night. <laughs> and then there's uh, also a soft core schmuck. Okay. A, sub- <laughs> a substitute word for shit. <laughs> what? And then you call in Schmidt, you schmuck, you chicken Schmidt. I don't, I don't know what the. T- and then uh, to nag someone until they give in to your demands. Stop schmitting me about homework. Okay. <laughs> some of Schmidt's out there made some enemies. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's enough of the Schmidt. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here you go, buddy. You got like 15 pages there? Yeah, seriously. I mean, <laughs> What's this website called? Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. I love that website. I, I hate it. Why Why do people think I'm a nun? Because <laughs> you're so <laughs> innocent. Because, Ross, what are you, me? Yeah. Silly old me? You're innocent. the most innocent person I ever met. What are you talking about? Oh, come on. Yeah, seriously. All right, you two, let's settle down. This is going to happen all night. We have our moments. Oh, and I love them. Yes, yeah. awesome. I'm glad I got a new tablecloth. Oh, I'm I'm honored, man. 
Gosh, there's magic. So can in I the be air. Louis C.K. for like this time though? I don't <laughs> get the reference. Well, all right. Well, then it'll be surprised just like this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. What's been new? What's going on, Dino Bosco? Well, I just had a a good uh, Thanksgiving with my uh, dad and my two little sisters and my uh, stepmother last night. But you were just shit talking your dad a moment ago, weren't you? Like, oh, it's a long story. I I, I thought we were supposed to have family values here. I didn't know that. Oh, I, I <laughs> my mistake. I should well, have by by it family up. values, I mean you need to specify what kind of dickhead asshole he is. <laughs> no. uh, right, it's, it's, it's nice Thanksgiving. Oh, it's just so much to list about my father. It, it really is because my father. Is. Why? Is this the fact that it's just so much, you know, hatred? It's, it's some things I just w- w- don't want to say right now. It's just some things that, you know, what... what I just told you we do have family values here. So you got to specify the dickheadness. Ah, uh, he's my father. And, um, like father, like son, I'm the biggest dickhead. He's a dickhead. Are your parents excited you're being on the podcast? Well, my parents are divorced, so... And they don't even know what the hell I'm doing. And my mom doesn't give a shit as long as I come home. Fair enough. Yes. Okay. How was your Thanksgiving, John? Uh, it was very calm, you know. Family family stuff as well. Did uh, you go to your sister's? No, I was at uh, around here, actually, in Schaumburg. Um, at my uncle's. Oh, okay. I didn't know your uncle's from Schaumburg. Yeah, yeah he's just 10 minutes away from here. That's cool. What about you, Bill? I, um... I went over to my Auntie Mary Ann's, and it was nice. And she made my favorite dessert, even though I didn't remember it being my favorite dessert. Uh, it's apple dumplings, and they're fantastic. But she was like, oh, I bet you know it's for dessert, Billy. I was like, I, what? Uh, I don't know. So she just had this very fond memory of me loving apple dumplings. So she made them again. And That's they were awesome. Great. But I don't remember them being that like special to me. So well, I feel a little but bad. But were they special this time? Yes. Bill, I hate to ask, are you German? Um, that sounds like a very much a German. I part of me, I'm half Irish, half everywhere else in Europe. Oh. So, don't believe there's something on joke. See, and it was like hosted by Billy and Marianne Heenahan. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's not a lick of German in them. So I don't know, but I just love shit stuff with shit. Oh, gotcha. I mean, I ate so much. I had a few dumplings this what morning. What you yesterday? <laughs> that was pretty German. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you ask, Ross? Oh, you answered it already. What? What did what, what'd you do yesterday for that? I do. I, uh, well, I, I ate a shitload. And I, I actually, you you said you lost nine pounds. I think I gained nine pounds. Yeah. Because my, yeah, my girlfriend's, uh, she had a, she had a really classy, we, we went to this really classy, uh, restaurant. I guess there's some, like, taboo haunting thing about it. They, um, I don't know. Somebody, it was really classy. She, like, you have to come in there with a shirt and tie. They have, like, a butler for each serving that opens the the R two D two helmet thing with the food inside, and it's it was all you can eat, but it was like really good cooked food. They had carvers there, who can tell you. I was just like, I'm here for the breasts, and and, <laughs> and um yeah, it was just uh it was pretty. Those breasts were pretty fucking dry, and uh I don't you know what was weird though because the whole place was super classy, like kind of like the hotel in The Shining. But the whole um, floor was like lit up like disco lights, and all the old people were tripping over it. <laughs> so it, that was great to see. Whose idea to, to go to this restaurant? Oh, it was uh, uh, Kelly's um, uncle. She she hasn't seen him in a while, mm-hmm. so he's like, um, you know, it's all on me. So uh, yeah, they had a. Uh, it was great food there, and then I had to go to my ma's, um, and pretend like. I am not full and eat as much as I can. Uh, yes, and she's obsessed with Italians, so we had to go to an Italian restaurant, which was awesome. I had some veal ravioli. Nice. I was like, I mean, I want, you know, I saw that episode with veal at uh, South Park with those innocent baby cows, and I was mm-hmm. like, are these really that good? Yes, yes, they are. Did you two uh, do all right and no uh, drama with you two? Oh well, she greeted me right away. Oh, yeah. your 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 belly grew more. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, of course, and your you know ass looks more and more wrinklier than my nuts. <laughs> so you gotta shake, you gotta tighten up to get you get you gotta still get me a father. You know, I got issues. You gotta you gotta <laughs> tighten up that wrinkly nutsack ass. So, so it went really well. Yeah, yeah, it was great. 
Uh, no, it was actually it was really funny because um, I you know she just fucking she's obsessed with this like Italian image that's in movies and shit. So so I don't think she really knows what Italian is, but I think she like masturbates to her like Italian fantasy or whatever. <laughs> so she uh, so we go there and like I think they were playing like Taylor Swift or something, and they're so like. I want. Can I order some Italian music? Trying to be fun, funny, but had a little too much wine, you know. <laughs> and the guy came by, and I think he knew that we were. He he spoke like five different languages. He's like, no, we only have Jewish music, because I, I think, I I don't know. I think it's like a European thing where people re- really have a hatred towards Jewish people. So I th- I thought he was like. Cr- I think he was cracking a joke to bust my mom's balls, because she got really fucking mad. Yeah. And then and then. She's like, really? Why would they? Why would they have Jewish music here? And then she, she, he told him like, she told him, or uh, he told her in Polish like, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But I gotta tell you, this isn't your son, is he? And he started stroking my beard, it's like, cause he, he looks very Israeli. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey, you know. Nice. <laughs> so, and I, I didn't even know he was joking the whole time, cause, cause I had a guy, I had like two people at work think that I was Jewish. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> what a weird interaction with a waiter. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I had a guy at work think I was Arab, like an Arab. I'm like, what the hell? That's, that's a first. I'm learning yeah. a lot. I, I, I just met you and I see Phil. I just don't see you neither. You guys, that's very funny. But a lot of people think I'm, you know, Polish, and I don't get it myself. Do, you, you, do I look Polish to you? No. It's like it's not something wrong with that. It was like, oh, are you Polish? It's just one of um, Phil's all ex girlfriends. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna name names. I don't know. No, I don't care. K- um, Kathleen's um, mom, you know, was talking to me in Polish, and I was like, I don't, I don't. Know. I was like, stop doing this. It's like, and his Kathleen said he doesn't know Polish. He's not Polish. It's like, all right. But well, you know, I am Czech, so it's pretty similar. Kathleen but, said that. No, K- Kathleen's mom asked, was speaking Polish to me. And then Kathleen said, "You don't speak Polish." Yeah. What a cunt. <laughs> yeah, Why was, do you just assume people don't speak Polish? I don't get it, but I am Czech. But I'm, people say Czech people and Polish people look similar. Hmm. But also, I wanted to say, does your mom know my last name is Rubino? I don't know if my mom knows any of my friends' last names. Well, there you go. She likes Italian people. Yeah. <laughs> she might like. She Maybe might. She, she might have a little fantasy. more and actually want to talk you know, to me Ross, when I play it. Ross, what? She's single, and I still need a dad. <laughs> yeah. So, come on, man. Can I? W- w- would you let me forget sit in your lap? about it? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> that Italian coming out. Yeah, it is. It's coming out. So I was also curious. I really enjoyed that segment when you were talking about how you you fall in love with uh, mod movies and all. Where you, you did like that? Yeah, I did. I found that instantly. That, you know, I feel like a jackass about it because I, I like to be a more intellectual person, and people are like, oh, they're just pig heads and running. It was episodes. funny because I remember George Washington, the guy you're talking about, Walkman, well, that's a gal. Who you know your, your mom's ex boyfriend who that you also you said he didn't have any teeth because he he uh, took him out with with, with a. Oh no! I didn't. I didn't fight with George Washington. It wasn't George. What you know? What I'm no. talking about? Yeah, yeah, Kaz. Yeah. yeah. No, my mom went out with this guy Kaz, and she he um, uh, he's got a great history. This is a story yeah. time with Philip, I guess. Yeah. But no, he um. It's okay to bring this up because I found a whole area. Yeah, you're talking my, my about. mom's probably gonna be mad, but shit, man, thirty years of it. I guess karma's coming back. No, but uh, no, she uh uh this guy uh i guess she he was like a crush in high school and he was like a mannered good gentleman in poland Mm -hmm. and then like uh he just trusted he was just a way naive dumb person and he fucking he opened up a a jewelry store in new york all by himself his own company Mm kind of like rolex would open up shit he was like he literally was a millionaire at one point and then people just started like skimming everywhere to where he literally he I'm not kidding he lives under a bridge and he's committed now mm-hmm. and when he was living with us like my mom didn't know that he had d- dementia and I'm like yo he's got dementia so he's just like dead like don't fucking why are you going out with this person is this what you know people out of their fucking minds is this what like mm-hmm. is that why you love me <laughs> no but he, he'd be in the garage like building shit like it's honey I shrunk the kids out, out of like aluminum cans mm-hmm. and crap and I'm like why, why are, really like what does it say about you like dating someone so no it wasn't George Washington it was this guy Tom he was uh I, I don't know he looks exactly no joke he looked exactly like the fucking guitarist in U2 and he had a horrible lisp 
So the, the dude that uh, wears the stocking hat, the katas, is that who you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the Edge. The Edge. Yeah. Yes. Okay, got you. Not the awesome wrestler. <laughs> Part of the brood. <laughs> Yeah, Phil and I had a lot of good moments in our life. You know, it, we didn't yeah. have ups and downs, but you know, it's awesome to have a good friend back in life. And I, you know, shit happens. You know, we he had his you know his stories about me. The two friends, you know, like I said, glad to have him back in my life. Thank you, Ross. Yeah, but by the way, that story when I came home. With the little Slava is all, my my, vi- my little version is a little different. All right, tell your version. Well, Everyone. what what will happen is is I got shit faced at one of the awesome parties Phil took me to. Him and another guy, which I don't want to bring up his name, folks. Who? Stubbs. You can say it. And um. Was well, is, is it more offensive to say his real name or Stubbs? I just Stubbs is fine. Okay, and um, it's not the barbecue sauce guy. Okay, yeah. Um. I, I, Fuck some, man, you know what? Now I feel bad that I said because I might be cool. With him. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him. All right, you I, really I, don't, I ruined it. You really don't want to see him. He's more of a putz than he ever has been when Ooh. you hung out with him, and he's cheap as hell. I, you know, I'm changing this up a little bit. I took him to a fucking Cubs game, free tickets. You, well, know? you never took me to a Cubs game. I thought we were. Well, I did take you to a Cubs game, and you and you you and Stubbs. Uh, decided we went to a lot of Palooza after, and you got uh, and you got caught. <laughs> well, Besides so Lady the point, Gaga I did take it a Cubs game. But, but, I think it was Lady Gaga year. Yeah, that was Lady Gaga. Yeah. And I, you know, but change the subject. He took me to a. With these are like one hundred fifty dollars tickets that I took him to. Yeah. And he got me about three drinks, and then he expect me to pay for his own drinks after that. One hundred fifty dollars tickets that I that you know I got for him. You know, we was I was taking other people, and. Okay, after that, I got around, and then we went to out, out, the, uh, out the dinner after that. Yeah. And I decided, we t- decided to take an Uber home. This Uber home from Wicker Field to Park Ridge was yeah. $90, and he didn't ch- uh, chip in. Oof. What, so, I, I mean... I'm proving how much of an asshole, cheap ass he is. Okay. And he never paid me back. Well... I mean, so, $150. Oh yeah, but you still hang out with him. He has his moments. He really does. He, he's, Where he makes you take a $90 Uber? And plus, I, I didn't charge for the tickets. Okay. So how much? 150 for one ticket plus 90 Okay. Plus the the, uh, the drinks were 30 bucks. For yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, and I'm sorry, Ross, because that year Lollapalooza fucking sucked. So I don't know what I was doing. I was just following Stubbs. But I felt bad because I didn't. I was no way I was able to sneak in, and how you guys did it, you know, I I, I should have said something. That was a bad move. Well, well, didn't he uh, break his leg or something that year? No, he got away. Actually, it's funny you said that because after that he got away. Well, Phil got you know caught, and he got away. He was complaining about his ankle for three days. Yeah, because yeah. I fucked up my ankle. Uh, no, no, not, not you. Um, Brad did. Oh, Br- yeah, the yeah, Brad was one. Now we're just yeah. using the name. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. You did it, man. Yeah. Well, speaking of Brad, uh, I actually never told you, Ross. <laughs> what? Um, so once again, I didn't mean to do this. This was when I was young and, and a Dino Bosco, you know. No, there's only one Dino Bosco, right? Cheers. Cheers. Yep. I can't do reach. You need a, do you need a beer, Bill? Please, John. You were going to edit some of these stuff out, right? <laughs> no. Nope. What is there to edit? It's all so, family values so far. Yeah. This is new. I'm sorry. Sorry, people of YouTube, but this is my first gig. Roz, you're killing it. Yep. It's a it's a can. Oh, nice. Thank you, John. Yep. Well, I got a great story. Uh, so, Bill and I, um, we, I tried getting into the whole field of comedy. Uh, it started. Long story short, I, uh, um, you know, I I I had a show booked by a really uh, dumb idiot in Chicago. He. He just sort of is trying to get his name out there, so he he books. He just gets. He's like, "Hey, I want to be famous. I'll book your show." So he booked a really horrible, like nineteen, like what you would see at like a nineteen fifties nursing home, fucking comedian. Mm-hmm. And then it was a psychedelic band, my band, a hippie band, and then a hardcore, like punch in the face band. And that was the lineup. And when we saw the guy, I'm just like, "Oh, hey, man, I want to do stand up." 
I don't know if that was was that one of the first time that I mentioned like we should try stand up. I don't remember. How do you have a, a psychedelic band and a hardcore band on the same well, line? Because this idiot booked it that way. Yeah, that, that's you, like, you know what the comedian was. What he was he was a uh, uh, like a like a twiggy like malnutrition like sixty year old guy mm-hmm. dressed up in a smiley face costume. Okay. Oh shit! Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, and and Andy. My my bassist, who's like a tweak, just just picture Kramer and Beavis mixed together, and he just and he fucking he never talks, but when he has some caffeine pills, he's a pizza holding son of a bitch. Hmm. Yeah, no, he's he gets he like really tweaks out when he when he has. What caffeine. do you mean by tweaking? He he just never he doesn't stop talking and and he, and he like he's. There will be moments where we'll where like if I was having a conversation with you guys right now, mm-hmm. he'd be just talking to himself right now. I'm not kidding. I've right. caught him doing it. And it's and it offends me. No, but anyways, <laughs> he, so so because because what I mean I should be hearing whatever the hell he's saying to his imaginary friend. What the fuck? Anyways, no, he we were sitting there and he was uh, he never talks and he's the one heckling this guy because this guy would be like, you know, oh hey, you know everybody everybody's good in this house. How about these guys? This, th- th- I guess this isn't a good part of this this disease right here. And, 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 like, it would just be, you know, silence. And, and of course, Andy was on caffeine and be like, Where the fuck is my money? Where the, I'm playing at the show and I still expect my money back. <laughs> like, dude, shut the fuck up. You just had caffeine, you know? Like, what kind of, you kind of would talk about scatter. We're talking about three different conversations here. Or is it we were talking about? Yeah, I know. That's, that's what happens when, <laughs> when hear nothing gets going. Okay, gotcha. I don't even yeah I don't even know where we start with well, we saw, any, we're talking oh, about we're, okay so we're, so, we're, we're, we're so, that's, so that's when I started doing stand up yeah and then and then um uh I realized I suck at stand up because I just don't know how to crack I don't know how to crack jokes and I don't know how to distinguish between hateful and funny mm-hmm. because to me both are kind of funny but. <laughs> But, and, and, and so I one day I think I don't even know if I was stoned I like to tell the story that I was stoned but hey I'm not editing this out I was I think I was just being hateful no no I, I was taking a shit I remember so I was trying to be creative but I, uh, I just wrote a whole list of Stubbs jokes and I'm like hey Bill do you think it'd be good to write uh, you know to write jokes about us and, and I really couldn't tell Bill's like oh yeah great let's make fun of a kid who doesn't have any fingers you know yeah, that's a great um, idea wow what what on one hand it's only on one hand yes so the other one grew in then mm-hmm. he's doing well well the thing is he is loyal he really is but he's just sometimes what he does is is he's a typical like um like a you know the good like sure kind of person you know he had a, you know he like he short grew, person yeah he grew up with money did he vote for trump yes he did okay so we know what he, kind of person he is yes exactly so, you know, he's all about money, saving money, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, but, you know, I was, you know, actually hospitalized when I had a, you know, a panic attack to try to improve myself at my job. And he actually visited me in the, in the hospital. And, you know, he has his, he has his moments with so many other times. Was he I, like, how you doing, Ross? Where are the Cubs kid tickets? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Will you pay for my taxi over here? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know they they visit me. It was awesome. He has this moments. Is just I wish I can just see more of the kindness that I really see him. Mm-hmm. Not this not this you know greedy you know saving money this saving money this. And he you know I come from a wealthy family. Show off. Shut up. But um, <laughs> but but again, he he's almost I feel like he's a wannabe. He wants to be like my my father and my stepdad. You know he and wants he, to be your father. He, he wants to. Does be, he ever smack your mind in the ass? No, I'm trying to say he wants to be successful in, in, in his own way. He is, but he doesn't get his shit together. He's just gonna be, you know, alone, <laughs> divorced with, with three kids, and be. He's gonna be alone and divorced, and have three kids and be alone. But who gets the who gets the little kid? And paying. What do you mean? I'm just trying to figure out if this is the if it's a good deal or not. No, it's not. I'm saying he doesn't change his shit. He's just not. He's not gonna. He's being very alone and and depressed. Yeah, I mean, well, isn't he like that now? Even no, with, he's a cocky son of a bitch. But he has his moments. He has his moments. Yes, I love him to okay. death. Just like I like all of my close friends. So, so, you, so you definitely don't want to hear the the list of Stubbs jokes I wrote. Oh, I'll do it. I will love it. Oh, you, you can do it now. Why not? 
Well, yeah. Yeah. I, and, and see, this is why I'm bad at this. I, I, put a, I heard Stubbs recently won the lottery after running into him at a bar. I got nervous and didn't know how to... He wanted to celebrate, so I just started saying, Go Stubbs, go Stubbs, go Stubbs. We were in Wrigleyville. Uh, yeah. so like go stubs go like that yeah yeah i don't know how the cubs song goes so <laughs> go, it's cubs, close go hey chicago what but do you say just remember I, I was for for camera's sake hi and taking a shit so <laughs> then stubs was telling me how he was in a bad mood because some guy cut him off so i said dude road rage is bad he's like all i did was yell at him so i so I said, I'm glad you didn't give him the finger, well, at least 75% of it. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a little more like this. Yeah, yeah. So, like, 20% of it. <laughs> and then I heard my ex had a crush on Stubbs. I was shocked. What draws a girl to a man like that? I told her, I heard he fingers himself. Why would you like <laughs> a guy like that? And she said, no, that's impossible because he's such a tight ass. That's probably how he got the way he is. I don't even know where I was going with that. How, how old is this? This, this is probably like four or five years old. I would use that material on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think any, if you use stub or bread, I don't think anybody would know what the hell you're talking about. There's some I, I don't think person. Any, I, I don't think, like, I think only you and me know. Yes. What we're I, don't, I don't even Maybe think, Bill I don't gets even, a little bit. I think all, Bill? Actually, I think only you know what I'm talking I, I don't even know what I, I'm talking about. I was asking, you know what, you get the joke, a little bit of jokes? Yeah, no, I've known him. He used to work at that grocery store that we can't name. Yeah. By the way, we yeah. cannot name. Please. Ross's place of employment. It's in his contract. So, didn't he used to work at the grocery store? Yeah, that's how we all came to be friends. And, you know, it was a, actually, I would love to meet, the, you know, when it's up, how actually Phil and I started uh, actually talking. You know, he got a, a little light. Actually, we'll train the ghetto. And, um, and I don't know if they still do this there. We, were, we used to have to take a test, and, and it was on a computer. Yeah, he uh, was sitting next to me, and I saw. And he him. couldn't use the keyboard. No, I was talking about you, about how oh. how, how we become friends. I gotta pay attention more. Um, he he was claiming, yeah, man, how you doing? I introduced myself. I'm my boss. His name is Phil. Yeah, hey, how are you doing? I, I feel like shit. I have a hundred and three temperature. You do? No, you did. Oh yeah, yeah. And I said, why the hell are you? Why the hell are you here? I need this fucking job, man. I don't have much of a choice. You know what? And I said to myself, this guy is a badass motherfucker. If he had a 103 you know, right. temperature and he went for training and, and went for it. Had a shithole like that? Yeah. Like, and that was Brad that did all this? No, this was um, Phil. Okay. I had the 103 temperature. And Brad was with you? No. It, um, Brad was a different story. Uh, I, he was. We, we, he got hired in August of the same year. And I, I was actually uh, having a cigarette outside. And, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, he said not to me. And I said, hey. You come around here a lot? <laughs> no, it, it's okay if I I'm smoking and you're just not gonna defend me. He said, "I don't care, we'll go ahead." And then a couple of months later, you know, I was gonna go to Hula Hands, and I, I was and he asked me, "Who are you going to Hula Hands?" You know, I was gonna go. I'm going by myself, and he was like 19 years old, and he said, "Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you there," and he did, and that's how we. So he had a fake ID. Yeah, exactly. Actually, speaking of fake ID, well, you can go to Hula Hands and not drink. Oh, like it's a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, he wanted the drink because we're not. Uh, he came there for the mac and cheese. Come on. We he know. sounds like trouble to me. <laughs> um. Yeah. It, the funny thing is about his fake ID. I. It was one time we went to a show. Yeah. And he was trying. I was buying. We were buying booze. What show? It, it was a uh, teenage bottle rocket. Teenage bottle rocket. Yes. It was, we we went. Yes, it was at the one at the uh, one in Wicker Park. The not the, the um, double door. That one subterranean. Yeah, we it was that show. Oh wow! And, I forgot I saw them. Fuck! I gotta write this shit down. Yeah, and, and it was with Zach too. Zach got kicked out because he was he had that X on his uh on his hand. Oh, and you know well, what I'm he, talking about? Well, he gets kicked out just for being Zach. Yeah. Well, he got backed in, but it's by the point. The first time he got his ID taken away was with me. Second time, it was I was at the point when I was had enough of this shit. So I told him, yeah, come to Smart Ball. And, you know, they're very, very strict. You know that about the IDs that were at Smart Ball? No. Well, you know so, what happened when we saw Mayhem? Because it's the same guards. Well, yeah, when we finished my story, the story is, I told the, I told the, I, I sorry, I, I, I told the uh, security guard, you know, I pointed out, this guy has a fake ID. Don't let him in. They check his ID, and he took it. <gasps> Wait, yeah, why well, did you do that? 
Because I was pissed at him. I wanted him to suck. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. Mm. Well, no, you know what happened when we went to see Mayhem. So, go ahead. Right? Yeah. Do you remember or no? I do. I remember the whole show. Well, yeah, because, uh, you know, this church burning band. When when I went to see Behemoth, they didn't want to. Okay, Kelly got me a little guitar pick. Yes, what, I know uh, you're talking about that. What, uh, it says our anniversary on it. Aww. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, it's, it's made out of steel because it's like engraved. They didn't want to let me in there because they thought I was going to like slit people's throats because they because there's people going in there with spikes and shit because it's a black metal show. Mm-hmm. Well, fucking Behemoth. Well, no, Behemoth isn't even black metal, but it's, that, that, it's, it's the same crowd. It's a uh, black death. A little different. Okay. Yeah. So, so when we went to Mayhem, who was a church burning band and fucking went to prison, I'm like, all right, well, some someone's going to get stabbed, or at least I think they are. And yeah, I, I had a switchblade on me and mace. And they just held on to it for me in the in the front. Terrible was hard. That's when you saw Behemoth? No, that's when I went to see Mayhem. No, I'm talking about when you saw Behemoth. What's the venue called? I heard about it. Thalia Hall. Yeah, is that a historical venue? I've never been there. I, I've seen a lot of like bands there. I don't, after that, I, I, I kind of uh, don't want to go there because I think, is it a historical venue or are they just assholes? I, I think they're kind of a stricter because they're newer and they, they, they don't, they have, they have anybody who will pay there. You know, the tickets are expensive there too. It was like like Campbell Corpse was like thirty five dollars a ticket. Well, that's the thing. They, they'll have something like Campbell Corpse Converge was there, the yeah. sold out show. Yeah, and then they'll have they had I saw Sleep there with Greg that I don't remember at all because I had like eight joints, mm-hmm. and then there was a. Uh, uh, then they have like like hipster band like like LCD sound system or um, uh, I think I saw the Growlers there with Andy, and then. They had. Uh, yeah, I was there with you for that one. Growlers. Oh yeah. yeah. What kind of what Milky kind of music? Way or something like that. What kind of music? Yeah, is Magic that? Milk. Magic Milk. Yeah. Uh, They're I'm, fucking awesome. I keep on cutting you guys off. No, it's all good. Yeah. And then, but then they'll have like they had Henry Rollins' spoken word. Oh, how was that? That was good. I I I I liked him, and then I hated him, and then I liked him, and then I hated him, and now I like him again. Can you remember the story you told me about Henry Rowling band when you saw him? So when he went backstage and some his his shorts got stolen. That he always something you were telling me the story at the Metro. That I told you about Henry Rollins. Yeah, he played a show at the Metro and something got stolen. That he real he plays at every show. Something gets stolen every show. He wears at every show, and they got stolen at the Metro. Oh, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't remember because he because he, he wrote a like a autobiography book, Get in the Van. Yeah. When he was in Black Flag, have you guys mm. ever heard of it? Mm-mm. I think you should get listen to that on audiobook, Bill. Really, it's it's really fucking cool. Okay. Because it's kind of just like a underground music history, un- underground music in, in in America. Really, they, it was just he uh, he was a huge like surfer in. Um, I think it was I think it was California. I was getting him mixed up with Minor Threat, but I think it was in California. And he uh, he really loved Black Flag because I think it was Chuck who was the first singer. And then he he's like, oh, you know, we we got rid of the the old singer, so now he joined the band. And they literally just toured the U.S. like for four fuck four or five years in a fucking like work van. He had to live in there. He was he was talking about how they had to like sleep on ice cubes while eating nothing but get gas station food and people stealing shit every day. Mm-hmm. It was, it, it's a cool book. I don't know. They got some, Plus, you know, it's all the people that he met along the way mm-hmm. that are kind of like big now. So, I don't know. It's, it's got a lot of cool who shit. Is, who is the first thing on Black Flag again? I forgot. Chuck something. Because I always thought it was Henry Rowan. I never knew it was uh, two singers he's in the a, band. He's only on four albums. I, but I, again, I think Henry Rowan made the band. I, I, I can't... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like him a lot now. I, I mean, I think, I don't know. Well, let me ask you this, Bill: Jello Biafra, Spoken Wars, or Henry Rollins? Who who has more to say or better to say? I like Henry Rollins now. Mm-hmm. I used to like Jello better, just because Jello is more sarcastic. And then some people yell shit in the middle <laughs> of the show. Like, I, you fuck know the Mexicans. Yeah, that's yeah. a you know. I... <laughs> and, and, and and when they don't get that he's being sarcastic, it, you know what it real was, and I remember the those shows the about time you know the first time I went to the metro. Yeah, I am slow people, and I have my moments when I do have my moments when I don't pick up shit. And he was doing the justice, and I it's more that fuck 
fuck Mexicans? I said, what Oh, he was doing the quotes. The yeah, I said, I, did, I, don't, I said, what the fuck is this guy doing? It's more that. I, I could have said that, but I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't picking you up. You think he was doing like the Mambo or something? I just wasn't understand what the hell he was doing. He was, you know, coming from going on a metal show to something like Jado Bravo was all about, you know, being a green, um, you know, green party and all that I at the time I didn't understand what, what he was all about you know I really must regret a lot I did when we, when we first heard him hanging out Phil but you yeah. know it, it, that's who I was you know but yeah I actually Joe Blackford kind of changed my opinion on punk you know if I never you guys never induced me you know I would never you know appreciate uh, punk like I do now and now, and now you like the Mexicans, right? Absolutely. I never hated them. I just it actually is a very kind of a funny story. Reason why I, I didn't hate them, I was kind of salty before I came to my grocery and store. Salty with the Mexicans? Yes, there is a reason. Okay, I was laid off. All right. By the way, he is only getting salty with Mexicans. Everybody else is cool with everyone. No, I you. am now, you asshole. Is this when we first hanging out? I was laid off three times by restaurants. With with the people who took my real took my job were getting paid under the table. They were like, you know, legal oh, immigrants, and you know. Well, that, they're doing a better job than you, probably. No, that because the, the, I was making more money than them. So you were doing a shittier job, making more money. Oh, I, I work I work with a lot of Mexicans who bust their fucking ass. And so did I with, with being on all kinds of medication and being slow as I am. I was okay. barely up. How would so, you feel being laid off? With no hope of finding another job until I came to Jewel, which I, for the first, oh, I said if I if I were you, man, yeah, you said it, man. Yeah, I said it this again. Was, okay, go to the grocery store. store. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't be okay. You're Nobody. fired, man. Nobody says that you're gonna be in the back. You're gonna be that's karma, man. The Mexicans are gonna take your job now. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I yeah, yeah, I tried. I we did it. I don't care anymore. Whoa, you don't mean that. I kind of, uh, yeah, I slip. It's just when I get in the moment, I get so... I Dino don't think. Bosco Yolo. Yeah. But, I, yeah, I've made a lot of good, great Mexican people that I love, and I work with a lot of them. <laughs> Dude, it, they bust their ass. I'm yes, telling I, you. Yes, you know, great workers. Great everything. Well, we ask you, when you lose your job three times, you know, I ask a lot of people this recently because, uh, you know, I do regret people, how I... People lose their job three times because it's America. Yeah. In America, you, you lose your job for nothing because of the turnover. You rate. know what, Phil? You're the first person outside one other person that said my situation. You know what he said? I would have bust my ass anymore to put the, you know, the sold them wrong. So, did well, John say that? No. Is that you, John? No. No, it wasn't me. Oh. Another buddy of mine. And you know what? What you said, he so said. So you're saying John isn't your buddy? No. Well, I just met John, but he looks like a stand up guy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, anyhow. Uh, so, this was a different John that told you this? No. It, I'm getting confused here. I'm just saying, people, you know, I, I did feel like an asshole back then, and I started to see the ways of my ways. So, way. do you like Jello now better or Henry Rollins? I say more Henry Rollins. Yeah. Jello is a. Maybe. You, you, know, you know that Jello DJed there uh, like three months ago at Reggie's? No kidding. Why do you tell me? I would have loved to go to that. I it was on a work night, so I wouldn't have gone. It was like a Wednesday or Thursday. It was like yeah. a riot fest thing. What kind of what, what kind of DJ music? Just everything from that seventies, eighties era. Okay. Like well, eighties more. He's got to be in the sixties now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, he was in a Portlandia episode. I don't. I don't know what that is. It's like a real. Uh, it's kind of like a, you know, the Onion. How it's like a it's a hipster thing, but it makes fun of hipsters type. I don't know. How do you describe Portlandia? Satire. Yeah. You know, you use Sat hipster a lot. I, you know. I don't know what to call it. I'm an old... How do I... Uh, I, I really... I have this problem, and I want you guys to teach me. How do I describe that whole, like, Wicker Park scene without using hipster? Hipster. Hopster, maybe? That's the new thing? Uh, it's like people who... You know, people call me a hipster when it comes to music. But I just like my metal and rock music. People are like hipster. You're such a hipster. Oh, I am a hipster. I mean, this you're, you're too cool to be a hipster. You know what really bothers me? It's like everybody's like, I love country. Country this, country that. It, it's like. So that's why you're a hipster? It's like, oh, I, I lot of Palooza is the greatest thing of country thunder. It's like every I work with a bunch of teenagers. It's like all they talk about is a lot of Palooza this, a lot of... They talk I, about country? Yeah, country. Uh, like even the dudes I work with are talking about country. I don't get it. Can you shine on? When you went to Maine South, right? No, I did not. Okay, um, but it puts ties upon If a dude talks about country, would you take his man card? Meaning he, it sounds like would a Would you pussy. take his man card? Sounds Answer like a the question. <laughs> 
I mean, he's acting like a pussy. It's a pretty simple question, John. Would you take his man card? He just called you a pussy. I didn't call him a pussy. I was saying anybody. Dude, like, that was I like don't... finding war. Well, let me ask what you What is going on here? <laughs> we were talking about when somebody, you know, say country, who was a dude back in high school. What did you think about that? We were just like, yeah, that's the greatest thing. I was like, you know what? You're fucking it. I'd say, can I join in in fucking your cousin? <laughs> uh, works every time. I might but, point by side. I don't get. Where, I got some fake teeth. Yeah, I talk about your 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 daddy and your dogs. No, I, I mean, it, I don't get how music changes over the years. It's like it was all about rap and pop a little bit. I was an outcast because I was a metalhead, and now people are like like all the guys like like go to like country thunder, and I was like, why? Who goes to country thunder? I don't know anybody who went there. It's like I thought the fucking three people. You know, like, like three to five people in the last year. It was like that... Frank Bodie or Joe Spanos. <laughs> oh please! Where's Country Thunder? That's a, that's a, like a like in Wisconsin. You know what I'm talking about, Phil? I yeah. don't know what you're talking about. That, I don't that, know. That's a big country festival. Is it like the Lyle Palooza of country? Yes, it is. And, and people, what I've been told is, dudes just go there to get those drunk and hook up with them. They is don't it... even like the music. Is there anybody in a hotel next to it with a lot of guns? Well, they actually camp there. It's even worse than getting a hotel. Okay. So it's like Woodstock with country music. Okay. But it's probably a great time, in all fairness. I don't get it. I went to a lot of Palooza. I'll be honest. I, I can take old country, but yes. the, the new shit is like really, uh, it just like it sounds like, I don't know, like Beyonce pop with a slide guitar. You know? I agree. When you were in like, high school, John. Um, like Willie Nelson is good. Yeah, Willie Nelson. Let me ask you this. Anybody, what, I, I don't even know. I, don't, I just met you. What kind of music are you real into? Uh, well, recently I've been listening to a lot of uh, Les Claypool. And he Found loves it. new country. Didn't you say you love that uh, Gojira? Yeah, yeah, I did listen to that a couple no months kidding. ago. No kidding. I love Gojira. Yeah. They're from France. I did not know that. Yes. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, I just, have you guys heard of uh, Lost in Vegas? Nope. nope. It's it's pretty funny. Some of it is funny. Some of it, it's uh it's these two uh black guys. It, it's their own podcast, and they they're like they listen to nothing but hip hop. They don't know anything about anything but hip hop, and they're just in Vegas. They're bored, so they review like really crazy fucking songs, and it's really it's it's pretty funny because it's like it's like all right, and and they review awesome songs. I'm props to them. I guess this is like a fucking sponsor right now, but they they uh. They'll review like, all right, all right, we're gonna check out this beat, Meshuggah Bleed, you know, or they check out Slayer Rain or or Megadeth. They said I think they liked Megadeth the most because it was just not. And then they said like Meshuggah, they're like, all right, I'm gonna get a fucking seizure from this, you know. Well, well when Phil and I saw Meshuggah last year at the House yeah. of Booze. You know, I was having a lot of physical problems. I'm gonna leave it at there. You know, because of the music. Well, it, it's yes, yeah, that's it because of the music. I, oh, I was. Sorry. No, that's cool. You okay, dude? Yeah, no, I just <clears throat> on the mic stand. Whoops. No, it's all good. I, I don't know how to roll cigarettes. But no, it's fine. That like, was... to give you the story. Yeah, please. Sorry for um, the intro. High and Fire thought it was all chilled out. It was all, like, uh, you know, awesome pull and cool. Pull the mic All chilled out and cool. Yeah. And you, can pull, of, you can pull it. Instead of what sort of went on, I, I went in the back, Phil went in the front, and I didn't see him for, like, 45 minutes. And, you know, most sugar, you know. I was trying to get out of there and go home. But you were in the front of the... I was the... trying to break into La Palooza after you paid for my... No. But you don't talk with my sugar. When I, I was like, I couldn't handle it. When I saw my sugar for the first time, it was the same year at Open Air. That, that car was terrible. And I, I told you that, right? And no, when no. I, saw... I saw my sugar for the first time there in America when I was... I was just... Didn't we, John? Didn't, didn't we go to a when they were the first time in America at Ozfest? Yeah, we saw them at. Uh, you know what Ozfest. year was this? I think it was ninety nine. No, maybe no, no, it 2000. was two thousand. With Pantera. Yeah, Pantera. Yeah, it was two thousand. Yeah. Well, my my story is, you know, I the first time, like I said, I was seeing open air. The crowd was horrible. They just stand there, a little head banging. When I saw them, that was booze. This crowd went unbelievably nuts, and I was like, "Well, that's that's yeah. just that's just cause festival versus small venue." And I, I, I finished after this. I saw Behemoth this year at the same festival, <laughs> and and I thought Behemoth was good, but they don't do anything. My well, point well, being, it's, it's nuts at Thalia Hall. It was I, I'm saying the festival is like, you know, it's good to see bands, but they, these the, the, the fake ass fans, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think it got pretty wild at Riot Fest. 
Yeah, yeah, it, it, that was awesome. That was awesome. But I think I don't know. I I feel like the crowd there knows that you know you go fucking nuts if somebody gets hurt, so you pick them up. You know, mm. yeah, you, you know. It's the same thing. There, op- there's there's a lot more loyalty in the fans and just respect, I guess. Overall, it's the same thing that open air does, but they don't know how to. They don't enjoy the music at all. It's just that they're there because well, it's a festival. I mean, not to be. Not to be an asshole, but a lot of metalheads are fat and sweaty, so they don't have as much energy as the Rat Fest. I don't disagree. But you know what? I'm definitely thinking getting a three-day pass with you guys next year, because I want to experience a good Rat Fest. Oh, shit. We told him, man. It's cool. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. I'm making up my mind. I know. I'm just kidding, man. Yeah. You know, we'll Still see what happens, you know? I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, I'm no, definitely, we... you know, I've been wanting to go for years, but, uh, you know, shit happens, you know? But you, you guys, you said you go all day, all three days, and you know what? All day. Ten hours. I'm looking forward to it, you know, because, you know, I can only do, oh, we'll see what happens. I got kicked in the head last year. And you lost your, your diamond swag. from Yeah. The- and my Chicago Wolves hat. Oh, you did? Yeah, dude, that's gone. Man. <laughs> no, uh, we'll, we move we'll on. We'll snatch your Chicago Wolves hat at Riot Fest. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, the second hat of significance I've lost in my life. And it never gets easier. Yeah, I speaking of that, uh, they had a Christmas sale go on. Did you know that? Oh, for right oh, for Wyatt Pass? Pass? Yeah, I thought you were talking about Chicago Bulls. How much? How, 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 uh, no. what, what, how much are the tickets? It was it was like eighty percent off, but you don't know the lineup. But I know it's awesome every year. So I I how I, far in advance do you get the tickets? I already got them for next September. Yeah, you would never. Get the back of your head. Yeah, maybe I, you know, I'm gonna like half of the lineup or a quarter. Or you, you just enjoy that scene so much. You don't have to worry about it. Well, every every single year, I went to Red Fest two or three times total, and I, the lineup was fucking amazing. See, I can't do that with open air. It's always been the Friday, yeah, and the Sunday, you know, lineup keep, I like. In the in the Saturday lineup, I can't do because it's always been like the, all the mainstream cheesy bands. Like the last two years, Corn was highlighting. Nice. You might like it, but not. And it was all like Mushroom Head, Body Count. Like, but you like Mushroom Head. That was this was seven years ago. And Body Count's pretty good too. But it, it's not like compared to like Sl- Ozzy, Slayer. Ozzy, man, he's he's gonna fall over any Behemoth, moment. Behemoth, Amon Amoth, Lamb of God, all these bands were on Sunday. Yeah, Ozzy's still playing. Well, he's he's gonna retire in two years. Yeah, I've heard that. I, got, I got to see him again. You know, be honest. No, he just stands there, crap. Oh, and can I can I do this? Yeah, you can. Uh, well, but you want to hit but your he head still against sings Mike? all right. He's, he yes, still sings but he, all right. he doesn't do anything. It's, it's all right. For, for open air, you know, I pay for the whole day. This for Ozzy, I don't know, man. I just don't think it's. Do you like? You ever hear Pentagram? What? The song? No, the band. I never heard of man. John likes Pentagram, right? Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. Isn't that Black Sabbath song? Well, Probably. I think they're in, no, but they're influenced by Black Sabbath a lot. I think. I don't know. I think they uh, started like around the same time, so yeah. I'm not sure if they're. I, I I read that they were influenced a lot. They? Yeah, and it was they sound cr- just like them, except the singing, the vocals are a little different. Pentagram. I got to look that up. You I, know, you know what's crazy too? I didn't know this because I was trying to get into my. I can't get into it. I mean, it's just different taste. But uh, you, you ever watch uh, What's in My Bag, guys, on uh, YouTube? Mm-mm. It's like um, they, they go to uh, the Amoeba uh, record store in San Francisco where I stalked the Brian Jones Tom Asker uh, tambourine <laughs> player. Joel. Because he works there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, they, um, they, they, they get random people go in there, and they give them, like, I don't know, a hundred dollars or fifty dollars, and you get to pick out uh, like five records that you get. And it's a it, that's a really cool segment on YouTube too. What's in my bag? They'll have like Tim and Eric coming, and they just they I think they just got five copies of like Thirty Seconds to Mars or My Chemical to R- Romance. That sounds that sounds painful. Yeah, no, but and anyway, they had the guy from Pentagram come in, and he picked some cool record. But I didn't even know this. He's like the longest musician serv- uh, with an ongoing heroin addiction. <laughs> it's like forty years. <laughs> So that's kind of crazy, because I will. I will expensive. Like, yeah, the, I like to ask, how do you, how do you guys, how long have you guys been friends now, you and John? Like 24, 25 years. How did it happen? Because I had been through like all, a lot of friends, but anybody I went to grade school with, 
I have no intention to see. Well, How did it, you guys make it this long without, you know, having a falling out or, you know, going apart? Because I think that's always awesome, seeing people being friends that long. Well, I was standing outside of Jewel having a cigarette. Uh, on the grocery store. Yeah, but oh, I mean, I that being, I'm being serious right now. <laughs> but, no, I don't, I don't know. We, uh, I don't. That's a good question. I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. <laughs> I think I, I think it was because I still didn't really know how to speak English well. So I was looking for anybody who could speak Polish, and I think we became friends. So oh, you, yeah, that's, that's and then, what and, then and then we and then our families would travel a lot because mm -hmm. I grew up with only my mom, mm -hmm. and John grew up with his uh, dad. Mm -hmm. So we just sort of just we went to Canada. I think did we go to Colorado? No, I, we we did not. Went to Ozfest a couple times. Yeah. Which, which I still think is awesome. You guys went so young. It's like I was not mature enough to even think about going to Ozfest. I, you know, even a concert when I was that young. When I was when we were like eleven or twelve, we had uh, Pantera tickets. Remember that? We went to we were supposed to go to a Pantera show. Mm -hmm. Was it and just Pantera? Then our parents, my dad, did not. Yeah, it was just Pantera. And oh someone, fuck! I think I remember. Yeah, that. and then like last minute, my dad said we can't go. <laughs> oh shit! What was what was the reason? Uh, you know, it's we're just we're too, too young. Too violent. Too too young. Yeah, that's but, crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, I have to say, Phil has talked to you a lot about it. You know, it's very much a good honor to meet you, you know. And like I said, it's awesome to see people being friends with because I never had it. You know, I, I've probably been through like about six of you. You want to know a crazy Pantera story? What? You know, Phil, you like Phil? Actually, I don't. I think he's a <gasps> jackass. Why? Overrated. I think an only good thing about Pantera is uh, well, Di Di Diamond Daryl. Whoa. With or without the bullet hole? No, sorry, too much, too much, man. Phil, no. All right, man, I went too far. I'll yeah. edit that out, please. Okay, I'm sorry. That, that is that's... no. All right, all right, man. I'm sorry, dude. Mm -hmm. I I promise you, I'll edit that out. All right, all right. No, but you know what's a cool? Speaking of Pantera story, yeah. I don't I don't know if I want to mention his name because I don't know if he wants to be mentioned. But uh, no, I got a buddy. We'll call him P. <laughs> yeah, no, this guy. This guy, um, my buddy, he when we were, when I was playing with Crow Clex, my psych band, he uh, he he's been playing in bands his whole fucking life, and he was playing in a shoegaze band, kind of like psychedelic mm -hmm. alternative, and um, we we played a show together, and then he invited me to his house, and I didn't know that he grew up in that whole New Orleans scene, mm -hmm. where you just you grow up in the South and you do a shitload of heroin sort of types. Hey, are you talking more like a like a stoner metal band or a slum metal band? Like all those bands know each other. Yeah. Sleep, Pantera, and and he was best friends, and I didn't even know that his buddy, the singer of I Hate God, was staying over that day. <sighs> That's one of the bands that you know I really would love to see is I Hate God. And really? Ass and back. Really? Because yeah. guess what? I, hung, they play I was, I, was hang, I was hanging out with him all night. The singer. And and you know what you know you know what's some crazy sh I I just gotta finish this off because this was hilarious. They were I think I think uh, we were just talking about bands and my and my friend walked out of the room. He's like, oh, so how'd you get into playing like, you know, like this hippie Beatles type music, but you still listen to this like hard metal shit? And I'm like, oh well, you know, I used to have a hard like joke metal band, and and we were just talking about different sort. And this is the guy from I Hate God. Does anybody know about the singer of I Hate, or the history of I Hate God? No. Like this guy. Not, not by heart. But I shit, do there's, there's just a, it's it's just a regular storm storm metal but like a lot of drug problems a lot of shit ha and and what happened to him he went through a lot of shit he actually almost died this past year was he, he sick he he's constantly sick I feel it like, because well what what happened is um he he was in prison for like a year or two because uh, Katrina happened while he was on tour. And he just came home, and there's like fucking dead bodies in his house. I, I don't remember the exact. You told story. me this though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and he just he, he was like wrongfully accused and went to prison, and then and then I think uh, my buddy started actually like a fundraiser to try and get him out and, and help him out or whatever, and um, but what was when we, when we were at it was, it was I think I freaked the guy out. We were at my buddy's house, I don't, I don't. and uh, we're uh, he, he, we're talking about bands, and I go, oh, you know, it's a really funny story. Speaking of being such a hippie, this is the kind of crap I would pull. Do you remember when um, we got, uh, I don't know if it was the first time we got stoned, but it was with Billy Ritter in the woods? Remember that or no? No. No, I don't. Okay, so my buddy, my other buddy, Bill. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> it's but, fun. 
But no, my, my other buddy Bill, he's he, he's like a cool stand-up guy. He's just w- raised in a working class family. Hilarious fucking guy. He does stand-up now. I, he did it for a while in San Francisco. I don't know where he is now. He's traveling the world in a motorcycle, rolling the nickels and dealing the cards. R.I.P. <laughs> no, but but a- anyways, uh, he um, yeah yeah he uh, we had, we had a joke metal band and um, we were gonna go. I think we got like an eighth, but Bill was working at his at the pizza shop, and I'm like, Yo, John, do you want to just try it out before he comes? Do you remember this or no? No, I don't. Uh, okay. The, so this is what happened. I go, yo, man, let's just, uh, you know, let, let's go, let's go try some out. And I lived in front of a whole forest preserve. So we go to the woods, and especially in our neighborhood, I think I talked about this before. Have Have you guys ever heard of the? Did I tell you guys about Chicago Rippers? Mm, maybe. Why is that? Why is that barrier? Okay. All the rumors in Illinois about s- Satanists and woods started because there was, not my buddy Vito. There was another masturbation cult. But the, no, the, there, there was, there was, there was a fucking in, in Lombard. There's this group of four guys. It was a foreman who was a, who was a sociopath and knew how to manipulate guys. And he was actually a sociopath. He didn't have any guilt. They proved he was a sociopath. He he passed the fucking lie detector test. But he basically wanted to talk this one of his workers, and then he had kind of like a really slow brother. They were all into metal, and then he had just another worker who just wanted who just really needed to get it laid, and they would kidnap women. Uh, and he had a huge fetish with tits, so he would drill a hole in their chest and then fuck them in the, in the chest. Why would they? Why would they drill a hole in their chest? I don't see the fetish. Because like. because because they. I, I don't know. I guess I actually read about this. How like the evolution of Playboy? How it used to be the natural woman, then it moved to huge tits, and now it's kind of like more like the ass. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just the one in, in the. They're big still booties. around. Well, Playboy. Yeah. Well, like the guy died. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, Hugh Hefner Hugh died. Hefner, yeah. But I mean, like the the culture of what was like sexy over the. Anyways, I'm drifting off so much. I'm hearing <laughs> nothing so much that it's making this show hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Anyways, Ed Roscoe. Ed Roscoe. I th- I thought it was Dino Bosco, man. Drink up. <laughs> Anyways, um, so so uh, and then and then yeah, they would when they uh when they weren't when they uh were were all out of jizz, they would cut up pieces and then drag off together in the attic together so they had a masturbation anyways that was the, that was the rumor so because of these rumors everybody in our neighborhood I, I, everybody in my neighborhood would say dude don't go to the woods alone there's fucking satanists there so i'm like fuck man we're we're gonna try this weed and we go there and i remember we found one of those red orange uh construction spray cans and i'm like dude let's freak the fuck out of bill because bill's like a Pretty normal guy, normal household. We went to a Catholic school, and I found uh, I didn't do this. I wish I could have, but it was, it got pretty uh, raunchy. We uh we, we <laughs> found a fireplace area, and I spray painted like upside down crosses and pentagrams all over the area <sighs> that we were gonna pretend that we never went to smoke, and then get sm- high with Bill there so he could tweak out. As we're walking away. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is that smell? And there was a deer carcass. I tried pulling it into the middle of the fireplace, but his skin slid off. Uh, so, this, is, this is awesome. So, so, <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm telling this to... Uh, and and any, the story ends, we ended up going there. You don't remember this? I could not have not remembered that. I was not there. I couldn't have been there. I, I, I know you were there. Cause we both, I do not remember a deer carcass where skin slitting off. <laughs> it's so repressed. <laughs> I, I know. I do I, remember the deer gray, but no, I don't remember a deer, just the bones. <laughs> this is intense. This is good. Well, well, well. And any, anyways, we 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 leave the woods. We go back. The story ends. We go back with Bill, and it, it was incredibly hard to act freaked out more than we were already freaked out and high for one of our first times. Like, oh, maybe we should call the police. <laughs> he was just like, dude. It's fucked up. We should, like, get the football team over here. Hide in the bushes or something. I'm like, yeah, it is. We should beat them up or something. You know? And and then and I'm telling... So I told this whole story. And I was like, dude, that's how I know that I'm a fucked up person. Because even the I Hate God singer was like, dude, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yeah. And then, and then yeah, that was, like, 
five, six years ago. You when, literally told us. Like, I told this to Mike from from I A God. Yeah, and, <laughs> and 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 then and then yeah, and then I wanted. I mean, the 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 great thing is, cause I, I mentioned it because you said you really want to see him, dude. My buddy, he could get us like backstage and shit. Because well, what happened with Mike? You know, I w- I'm glad that he's feeling better. He he had a liver transplant yeah. this year. Because did you hear good things that he's doing all right? He's doing great because you know they, I- they just played like two months ago. It's at Reggie's. At Reggie's. I keep on looking at the website. I didn't see that. Last time I checked, um, the Randy Bass from Lamb of God played uh, with, am I thinking of that or bad? Oh, yeah. That was last year. Yeah. yeah. Was, I wanted to go, but it was a couple of weeks uh, after Masugo, so, you know, yeah, I put, pick and choose, you know? Mm-hmm. Which I don't, I kind of regret not really, so. Yeah. But I actually really will love next time. You gotta please, please pay attention because I, I we gotta tell the deer carcass yeah. story again, right? Exactly. You think we he will we mow? Huh? He knows you. I don't. I mean, I I don't think he knows. I don't think he wants to know me. If that's what you're asking. I don't know. He will remember who you are if you if, we, if you talk about this conversation again. That's a good question. Yeah, I mean, may, maybe. Is this little why I, I love metal? Is this like these guys? A lot of these, you know, singles, they they hood it all. They you know they've been around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, I'm like, and when this you, is fucked up. Yeah, dude, thanks. I'm proud. You know? when, when these singles like pop singers like Taylor Smith or like like my size, you think they these these pop artists have have heard these stories about these grunty ass wall, you know, dirty ass shit? Probably not. No, no, maybe. Exactly. I mean, you don't know. I don't know, but I, I, I'm saying they're going to say, Oh, that's disgusting! Maybe. Well, <laughs> Well, yeah. I'd, how are you feeling, Bill? Man, I'm feeling pretty good. What do, what do you think of the deer carcass fantasy? I, um... I liked it. I like, okay. It, it, uh... I don't know, it made me think. Yeah. About life. It was a piece of art? It, it, it was masterful, is how I would describe it. Okay. That was, it was something else. And I think John was there, and he just doesn't want to admit it. I I think I was there, but I think certain things did not happen. <laughs> okay. Fair well, enough. Well, I like to break something up. What you, when we, when you guys talked about is about having a disability and how people treat you differently. Sure. Yeah. I, I I work at a. I've been grocery. treating John perfectly okay. Well, I, I don't know, John. You don't have any disability or anything. L- he l- says nothing. Well, well, that's just John. Yeah, but you know, Phil has. You know, it's okay to say epileptic. Yeah, things get a little shaky sometimes. Yeah. Um, John. I mean, uh, Bill. Bill, thank you. That, you know that's why Bill isn't talking because he's offended. He forgot his name. <laughs> Bill is uh can't see very well, and I have a uh but severe LD cancer survival. LD severe LD. I'm bipolar. What's, what's LD? Learning disability. Oh. Okay. And bipolar, learning disability, and anxiety. And every every day I work at Jewel. I thought a, I thought you told me that uh, you're you have like a different autism. No, I I I've been I've been clear. I don't. I'm not autistic at all. And you never were. No, and this is like 17 years of people misdiagnosed me. I finally with. So you were diagnosed with it. No, but I've been a real doctor. You said not even close. You have autism. Here, pull out my clip. Not even close. I. You, you, you can just sit back. Just pull it like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The doctor I saw uh, last year, he said not even close. Well, how he could identify. Is a way I can talk to people. Do do you t- do you think that um, um so 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 when did you start ha- having the because because you, you have medication right you, yes. you don't you don't take medication for learning disability do you it's nothing you can do about that I mean not like uh Ritalin or something it's not Ritalin like Ritalin is for pussies okay yeah I'm not gonna for all you, for all your Ritalin pussies out there <laughs> yeah but well, yeah you know I, what I've been diagnosed is like I said it's the LD. <laughs> Yeah, bipolar and anxiety, <clears throat> and you know, but people talk to me because I'm a bag of a jewel. They're like I'm a baby. You're like, oh, you're doing such a good job. Oh, good Does, job. Doesn't everybody at jewel talk like that, anyways? No, it's like, oh, they they'll tell the checker what to do. I was like, I think it was like two months ago. This this customer was like two feet away from me. Have him do this instead of telling me. It's like 
And I told this customer, literally, you know, you could tell me how to bag. You don't have to tell the check. Yeah, yeah. It's like, or, and they just talk to me like I'm some kind of retard, and I'm so sick of it. it Did really, you ever complain about it? I talked to the people about it and said you get this deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's every day when, you know, when people with disabilities, they, they're going... They, well, like, that place takes advantage of a lot of people because of the whole union set up and, you Yeah, know. It, it's everything else. It's like, it, and it's like, I'm it getting to the point, like, you know, that everybody who has a disability or, you know, completely handicapped in them, you know, I, I, I can talk, talk to people. I, I actually have a normal, you know, comprehension. I know, you know, how to, you know, normal intelligence, but how much I know. It's like it's different with somebody who you know who doesn't know anything, like who doesn't know. It's hard to d- d- describe, but anyhow. How, how come um, you never thought about working anywhere else then? I have, but I, I have applied. I just never got the job. Well, what about like uh, Mariano's or something? No more grocery stores. No more grocery. Stores. I don't think you're. I don't think they're gonna like to hear that, man. Okay, if I lose my job, I'll just go to the union. All right, <laughs> and uh, I've been at Jewel for nine years, so it would take a lot for me to lose my job. You I, never want to be like a stunt man or anything. Oh, that'd be awesome! So let me ask you this: in five years, all three of you, what would you guys like to be in five years? Alive, outside alive. How? You no, know, like job or like same. Um, oh, job! I don't care. I mean, as long as I can do, as long as I can uh, hear nothing. For another five years, and to keep the, no, no. I mean, as long as I, 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 I don't give a fuck where I work. Work is you're not. I mean, this is not everybody's model, but you're not supposed to enjoy work. As long as I can afford everything that I love to do, go to shows, you know, just crack fucking laughs and travel. You say that, but but it, it gets to the point with me is it's like I'm not happy with what I'm doing. It's like I who's I, who's happy with their job. My dad, my sisters. Your dad's happy? I, I, I've never dentist? seen him smile before. You know, my stepdad. Or maybe it's just when I come over. My stepdad loves his job. He lo- What does he do? He owns his own business. Floyd. What, doing, doing what? Floyd. Oh, he's, okay. Hey, Bill, you, I put another beer by you if you want it. John, w- thank which, you. Would you ever need you know, anything walk in your house? I can hook you up, by the way, Phil. Ooh. I mean, I don't know. You said you hate him, though. That's my wheel. I don't hate my father. That's my wheel. I have a stepdad and a father. So which one owns the flooring? My my stepdad. Okay, the one that lives with you. Now. Yes. Oh, he's a great guy. You know, he's been so much bullshit. He's not even my. He wheel. is a great guy. Oh, he is. Oh man, I was talking about the wrong guy then. That doesn't smile. Uh, you, you have to understand that my my stepdad is my dad. My dad is my blood dad. I mean, he's my. Too gay, Bill, for me. My stepdad is He's too gay. <laughs> what? You're missing what I'm saying. My stepdad is my dad because that's who I see. Who is my dad? Right. Yeah. Yeah. What I was trying to say, Bill. That translate, Bill. Well, no. So, the person to whom he refers to as dad is not his biological father, but rather his stepdad. Okay. But then he also refers to his biological father as dad. So there are two different people he refers to as dad. My stepdad is my dad. You right. guys are fucking with me right now. No, it's not. It's not the first time somebody... I get it. Yeah. Do okay. you get what I'm saying, John? Yeah, I get it. Yes. I never get it. <laughs> no, 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 I get it. I'm just fucking around. No, okay. So what is your... You said you don't like your real dad? I do. Is He this, hates both of them. I, I we the don't. truth. I, I, I love my stepdad and respect him. I respect my dad, but I, I, I just don't love him as much as a, a person who, who has a real dad who doesn't have a stepdad. When's the last time you saw him? My dad, I saw him yesterday. So you're your real dad. Yeah. It, it's complicated. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know you see him that much. Where, where is he in Park Ridge? Yeah. Oh, okay. So how? So what happened? Or do you not want to talk about this? I really don't want to get into that. You okay. know, it, it's a long ass story. And, you know, it's not. It's just not enough time that we have. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? I got to take a leak. All right. Yeah, we could break. Or we can sit here and talk about John while he's gone. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's what we normally do. Ross, it's one of our favorite traditions. I thought we don't take breaks. We. I mean. Well, I got to reset. Uh, the Am cameras. I doing okay? You're killing you me, Ross. But it's all good.
Round two. What's going on? Oh, here. I think I, I don't know. We weren't going to do that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Before we end this episode, we have to fucking do this. Because you know what? Nobody knows who the hell we are. We just hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. What the f- people turn this shit on and they're like, who the fuck are you? Why the fuck do you have a show? What the fuck is with these people? You know? So I was thinking, um, how about introductions? Who should I- I'm going to start with who's, I, d- I don't know, who's going to roll the nickels? <laughs> no. yeah, how, about, how about Bill? What, should I just talk about myself? Here, here. Uh, so where were you born? Uh, Binghamton, New York. What what do you like? What kind of hobbies do you have? I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I drink a lot. I I talk to strangers. But you can keep it as long as you want. N- uh, no, or, or, or I'm I just, just don't have that to. many hobbies. Okay. N- next question. Mm. Uh Do you have anything that you'd like to say? <laughs> 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 Gosh, um, you know what? I think there is. I went to a Friendsgiving dinner over at a friend's place, and I didn't know like anyone there. And we sat down at this table, and someone says, we have to go around and see what we're thankful, thankful for. We have to say what we're thankful for. We'll yeah. go in a circle. And so he starts, and then it goes down the line, and then there's like this very new couple together. Yeah, and you know, like they're very like a like three months in maybe, and the guy's like, "Well, I'm happy. I have Jenna." And then it goes to Jenna around the circle. She's like, "Well, I'm happy. I have Matt." And it was just like the stupidest fucking thing ever. Like, everyone's like, "Thank you, everyone, for helping me get through like the, my father's passing. It was a really difficult time. Thank you." And then they're just like, I'm thankful for you. No, I'm thankful for you. It was like, it was fucking stupid. I had a similar situation. We were, uh, I went to my brother's girlfriend's birthday and I had, I never knew what the hell, what what is it called? There's the game Password. And then there's, what's that game where you, where you, you start off saying something and you say it in an ear and, and then you got to see what the last person says. Telephone. telephone? Yeah. Telephone. So I never heard of either, and then we were we're at this party, and we just watch me me and my girlfriend just watch Cable Guy where they're playing the password is, you know, I think she got password and telephone messed up because she goes up to me and she goes, Matt is sliding naked under the rock, and she told me that we're playing password. <laughs> so I'm at this party. Well, what's password? Pat- <laughs> How is that? Like you get a, it's kind of like charades with words, I think, right? Like they give you a, they give you a word and then you have to describe. And you have to like describe it to people without using it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's so much like the hundred thousand dollar pyramid or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I don't know if, if the passwords, I don't no, know. I, I, I got it. Yeah. Got it. So, so I'm, I'm thinking we're like playing password. And I'm like, Matt. Trying to get people to guess. Yeah, yeah, Matt's sliding underneath a rock naked. I'm like, uh, so there's this guy. He's uh, <laughs> somewhere, not over, in a formation like Grand Canyon. Kind, They're kind of like minerals, but, and he's doing something there, you, you know. And she's like, y- you're not drinking anymore, you know. I'm like, what the? F-? <laughs> so, yeah, there's my. Uh, on with the quen- questions. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> no, that's uh, a great story. Any any favorite bands, movies, idols? Bands. Favorite fa- favorite band. Top top three favorite bands. Top three favorite movies. Top th- three idols. Okay. All right. So, Frank Zappa. Because nice. I have the tattoo. Idol and band. Um. Uh, uh, sure. So, Bill, have you ever seen uh, Zappa play Zappa before? No, I haven't. Um, is he still alive? No. no. His son Dweezil tours oh, and I plays thought, his stuff. Oh, okay. Zappa died in like 90-something. Okay. Mid-90s. All right, so that's one. I really like Grateful Dead. And I really like Donovan. 
Donovan. Yeah. I don't know. I like Who's Donovan. Donovan. More than like Murder by Death? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um and all right, so those are the three bands. Okay. What were the next ones? Movies. Is that my water? Um Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> I really like the original it with like John Ritter yeah. and Tim Curry. Yeah. Russ. And I really like Ah shit. Zoolander. 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 Which I saw recently and I absolutely loved it. It's and, so funny. And I gotta admit, Bill, I'm s i am I just love you too much. I think it made me like it more knowing that it's one of your favorite movies. Cause I was like, Yep. I, I get the humor because cause I didn't get it at first. I'm like, this is just kind of yeah, this is stupid as hell. Yeah, yeah, but no, it was really good. We were gonna watch the second one, but everybody tells me it sucks. I've never seen it, and I never cared to see uh, it. You're not missing that much in the second one. And then Idols. Okay, my Billy. <laughs> uh, um, my idols like my heroes. Yeah, like who I look up to. Yeah, my mother. Um. I, God, this is a tough question. Do you know Bosco? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. There's number two. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I'll put Frank Zappa down as one. I'm gonna remove Dino Bosco. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> yeah, n- it's nothing <laughs> personal. Um, let's. I don't know, John. Thanks, man. Yeah. I got you, dude. How do you feel today? What is it that made you today? (laughs) Who who you are? (laughs) What? Yeah. What did I feel today? There's I I put a lot of preparation in this. (laughs) How do you? Yeah. How do you feel today? And what is it that made you who you are today? Um. Oh, and what's your favorite Barbara Streisand song? Oh, okay. All right. So, so Barbie. It's easy. Stranger in a Strange Land. It's a great song. Um, as far how did too. what is it? As a, that's a book too. Is it? Yeah, I didn't know that was a song. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Streisand song. I think. I will. What? It's nothing got a song stuck in my head. Oh. Are you gonna sing it? I will right. always love you. Sing the whole thing. I, I, don't, I don't know. I think that's a Pablo Slotkin song. No. It's a what? It's not a Barbara Streisand song. Okay. But she might do a version of it, and I bet it's great. Can you do it in a Barbra Streisand voice? <laughs> no, not in my lifetime. Not okay. with that attitude. Um, I think that's it. So who oh, do we... Wait, I, I feel good today. I listened to a lot of a good audiobook with a good friend, and I'm hanging out with more good friends. Yep. And it's... And that's what made you who you are today? I Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. How about How about you, John? Where were you born? I was born in Poland. What do you What do you like hobbies? Um, I like drawing. Anything else? No. I just do the top one. Oh yeah. Uh, anything you'd like to say? Say nothing. Do you, any favorite band band movie and idol? Um. Les Claypool, um, Jamaica, Cool Runnings, and um, Idol. I don't know. Let's just go with Les Claypool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Then uh, what? What else we got here? Too many puppies. <laughs> I'll be in shot in the die. How do you feel? You know what that song is about? Actually, I don't. Educate me. I guess it uh, because he um he wanted to be a metal band at first. I read about this. It was about kind of like Dogs of War. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a protest song about like um just uh t- too many puppies being shot in the thigh, mm-hmm. just too too many people like getting messed up it from war. I didn't know that. I thought it was about puppies. God damn it. So, uh, yeah. How how do you feel today? What is it that made you who you are today, John? Well, I thought you were going. What? No, no, it's still you. All right, ask me that again. What? How do you feel today, and what is it that made you that person today? Um, I feel good today. Uh, you know, I was excited for this show. That's what made you who you are today. 
Yeah. Awesome. And anything else you'd like to say? Nope. What about Roscoe? Or should I go? Who who goes first? Should I go? Go ahead. All right. Ross is know. getting ready. Where was I born? Uh, Chicago, I guess. They call the area Dunning. From what I, I didn't even know that until like this year. Uh, hmm. What do you like? Hobbies. I like to talk a lot. If you guys didn't, uh, it's kind of skeleton in the closet. I didn't, don't like to talk about. No, I, uh, I, 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 I'm always changing up hobbies because I get bored easily. So I used to like to play guitar a lot and make music. Then um, I didn't want to deal with people in a band. So I try to make electronic music now and uh, see what else hobbies. I, I, I like being a old fart dad right now. I like starting my no- own family because my family kind of sucks. And uh, yeah, hobbies. I don't. I don't know what else. Oh, and I like doing these shows with awesome friends. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. It's like friends giving all over again. Yeah. I'm thankful for you. No, I'm thankful for you. I didn't hear. You anything. make me sick. Yes. Sorry. Any, any <coughs> favorite bands, movies, idols? I don't know. Favorite bands. I don't know. I'm I'm always changing up everything. Favorite band right now? I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of the new uh, Converge album. What do you think about that album? I think it sounds fucking great. I thought it was going to suck and go like just... Because they're getting really big really quick. Mm -hmm. And their first albums are really hard, really... You know, I can't explain it with Converge because it's a... I never had a band that I fucking love but I rarely listen to them. But when you listen to them when you're really down in the dumps, it's great. It's like therapy. And uh, I don't know what else. I've been listening to Ghost Main, which, I, yeah, I went with my kid recently. He loved it. He said it was, uh, I asked him if he wanted to crowd surf. He said, um, it's a little spooky. Can we go home? Um, and then. Uh, Did you hit him? I didn't hit him, no. Why would you hit him? It's like. <sighs> I don't know. I was hitting too many other small kids there. I, I, I didn't want to be a bad, you know, role model for them. Sure. So, um, uh, I don't know what other bands. Uh, re- weirdly, I started getting into Gigamesh. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Mm-mm. It's like a, it's like really cheerful electronic music. I, I got into it from Saints Row. It's in, it's in the Saints Row. And then, uh, let's see, movies. I fucking love John Wick. Has anybody seen that here? I saw the second one. I have not seen the first one. Dude. Yeah, I saw I saw both of them. Right. What, what, what is the sec- first one better than the second? Um, second one was brutal to watch. I like the second one more. I like the really? one. The, the, yeah. The, the, the best part of the movie I really like when, when he was walking in before he killed the the, the main boss woman, and then the the badass electronics on. He was like not banging his head and then John Wick was killing a bunch of the you know the hitmen and I, I, yeah. I thought that was fucking badass and I we want to see the first one it, it is was it the first one that much of a intense movie I didn't think so it's about uh, his dog getting killed right yeah the first one yeah it tells you the story of like yeah his his dog got killed really I'm, well, and he gets I'd like to say on. thank you, Ross, for spoiling the second one for me. I didn't. I, I did not. He didn't spoil much. Yeah, it was <laughs> just that one scene was badass. You know what I'm talking about, right, John? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think the first one is fucking awesome. It's my favorite action movie now. I didn't think they make good action movies like that anymore. Especially, I don't know. Do you guys see? I I felt like they gave a lot of shit to Keanu Reeves. No, you guys never heard that. The last yeah, good movie I enjoyed by him was uh, the. Because he sucks? No. Yeah, he's th- terrible. I think he's a terrible actor. I mean, there's some good movies that he's in, but I think he's like, he's terrible at acting. Yeah, I, I heard it was because they said, like, uh, when he played Bill in Bill and Ted, that, like, he's just like that in every movie, that where he's just clueless. Do I take the red pill or the other one? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is about the Matrix, you know. Like, so, I, I but I don't know. I, I thought he was awesome in John Wick. I actually watched like uh the making of it today and it's fucking crazy. He was uh training 8 hours a day to um like like just karate started off with the basics, tai chi, judo, you know, basic karate and moved up he was doing it for 6 months to do all that shit and then 8 hours a day. 8 hours a day for 6 months. Oh my god. And then and and they show him doing it and he's like fucked up. Like he 
But like it was the funniest because they show like the first clips where he just like can't do a tumble, which I don't think I could. But compared to how much shit is going on in the movie, it, it you don't even notice it. You know, you don't even think about oh that's that's kind of hard to do without fucking yourself up. And then the other six months he had to like do all the gun training and how to handle. But but I think they said like he he knows how to handle guns well or something like he. I figured he'd know how to do all that with the Matrix movies. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was yeah because he like I don't know he's like a gun collector or something. What I what I thought was pretty awesome is he um the uh, the stunt people that were in there were they did all the choreography and the stunts and it was the actual stuntman for Brandon Lee and the Crow. Like after like when he got shot and killed in the movie, they just used that stuntman and then they just like computer generated fa- uh, face brand for the rest of it. So which I'm like that's kind of cool cuz that's the action it reminds me of and like the whole tragedy and everything. But yeah, moving on. Idols. Who's my idol? I'm not seeing Dino Bosco I'm at no, all. I know nobody's idol. I don't know. I think uh I really like uh I was I was telling Bill earlier. Have you ever heard of Jordan Peterson? No. Have you heard No. I I really liked him recently. He he's just uh, really unbiased. He he doesn't have any political stance. He just really uh He's a uh doctor at a college in Canada and he's been he's he's gotten a lot of shit recently cuz he He's just very uh Canadian. Very Canadian. Blame Canada. No, but um he 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 kind of looks at every psychological problem and even every single problem within the world he looks at it like a mathematical equation like this is what you need to change this is what you need to do these are your traits he sort of blueprints you out and what's even great is there uh my friend at work i probably i don't know if I want, he wants to mention is he got me into him he got me like nuts because he uh he has this self-authoring program it's great it's uh i i highly I don't know, Ross, if you'd want to do it, but I'm telling you, anybody with anxiety, depression, mm-hmm. even even if they're bored, just do it if you're bored. It's 20 bucks, and you basically they they ask you a series of questions of like, what would you do in this? It's very detailed. You got to give a detailed answer, like whatever a paragraph of and and then it it, it just uh, of of an answer to like you know what are your greatest fears? Please write down your most embarrassing moment and it sort of just puts to get it gets you to know yourself which is a great thing at our age i feel like because uh like one thing he says you know fucking sad or not but like the new third the new 30 years old right now is like what people in their 20s were going through a while back i know and it it makes a lot of sense so i guess I, i consider him an idol yeah uh how do you feel today and what is it that made you who you are today um how do i feel today super full and fat from thanksgiving uh feel like i'm gonna add to this gas cloud in this basement kelly's gonna cry yep uh watch out when you (laughs) watch out when you light those matches in here so um and uh what made me who i am today I, i i i don't know how to answer that a lot of uh i instead of getting a second chance i got like 20 chances at everything and i just i keep rambling on like led zeppelin told me to and uh anything else i'd like to say i'd like to say ross it's your turn ask me the questions oh and barbara streisand song i don't know i don't know anybody barbara streisand songs and i think she's pretty pretty terrifying I don't know. You think she's pretty? I think she's uh, dead sexy. Mm. You do? Yeah. I hold Are it. you serious? Oh, oof. oh God. <laughs> Man, <laughs> ro- how? What? What's sexy about it? Those fucking lips, man. Those lips? Yeah. What do you think about when you think about those I have lips? No, I'm just fucking with you. I have no idea what she looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thanks, Ross. Yeah. Thanks for fucking with me. I don't believe you. I actually don't know what she looks like. Oh, I just know the, the name. Uh huh. Yeah. What if I told you her lips look like mine? Do you still? <laughs> Does her lips look, look like roast beef? Is that how my lips look like? God I damn think it. you're missing a joke. 
Like, th- this is a family show here, Ross. Okay. I thought that was uncensored. I missed the joke. I. Ross, can you explain? I, I think he meant like if, like if um she's in anal and she's got some loose like butthole lips. <laughs> Ross, is that what you meant? I was thinking about the blue roast beef lips. The but, roast beef lips? No, blue, blue, blue lips. Ah, like nuts. Because he uh he has this self authoring program. It's great. It's uh I I highly. I don't know, Ross, if you'd want to do it, but I'm telling you, anybody with anxiety, depression, even even if they're bored, just do it if you're bored. It's 20 bucks, and you basically they, they ask you a series of questions of like, what would you do in this? It's very detailed. You got to give a detailed answer, like whatever a paragraph of, and and then it it, it just uh, of of an answer to like, you know, what are your greatest fears? Please write down your most embarrassing moment and it sort of just puts to get it gets you to know yourself which is a great thing at our age i feel like because uh like one thing he says you know fucking sad or not but like the new third the new 30 years old right now is like what people in their 20s were going through a while back i know and it, it makes a lot of sense so i guess i i consider him an idol yeah uh how do you feel today and what is it that made you who you are today um, how do I feel today? Super full and fat from Thanksgiving. Uh, feel like I'm going to add to this gas cloud in this basement. Kelly's going to cry. Yep. Uh, watch out when you, <laughs> watch out when you light those matches in here. So, um, and, uh, what made me who I am today? I, 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 I don't know how to answer that. A lot of... Uh, I, instead of getting a second chance, I got like 20 chances at everything. And I just, I keep rambling on like Led Zeppelin told me to. And, uh, anything else I'd like to say? I'd like to say, Ross, it's your turn. Ask me any questions? Oh, and Barbara Streisand's song. I don't know. I don't know any Barbara Streisand songs and I think she's pretty, pretty terrifying. I don't know. You think she's pretty? I think she's dead sexy. Mm. You do? Yeah. I hope. Are you serious? Oh, oof. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, Ro- How? What, what's sexy about it? Those fucking lips, man. Those lips? Yeah. What do you think about when you think about those I lips? No, I'm just fucking with you. I have no idea what she looks like. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Ross. Yeah. Thanks for fucking with me. I don't believe you. I actually don't know what she looks like. I just know the the name. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. What if I told you her lips look like mine? You still... (laughs) Does her lips look look like roast beef? Is that how my lips look like? I think you're missing a joke. Like... This is a family show here, Ross. I thought it was uncensored. I missed the joke. I... Ross, can you explain? I, I think he meant like if... Like if um, she's in anal and she's got some loose like butthole lips. <laughs> Ross, is that what you meant? I was thinking about the blue roast beef lips. But the roast beef lips? No, blue. Blue. Blue lips? Ah, oh, fuck it. This is not... <laughs> Man, Phil, I... We're going to get to the bottom of this. You like Barbara Streisand's blue lips. Is that a, <laughs> so- is that a song named Blue Lips? Or do you like her blue lips? I just like her blue lips. Blue, I've never seen her with blue lips. I, I don't think we're talking about the same body parts. Where else did somebody stab her in the elbow and there's just some lips that are blue there? Okay, go change the subject. Let's go to me. All right, we'll go to the next clip. All right, where were you born? With a general in Park Ridge. With a general in Park? <laughs> with a general. Oh, okay. What What do you like? Hobbies? Besides thinking about the secret blue lips of Barbara Streisand. Um, listening to music, pretty much. Joking to you. Listen to, okay. Um, how, do, you, do you, so you don't like knit sweaters or anything? Uh, no. Do you play video games? Yes, I play video games obsessively. Okay, that's a hobby. Uh, do you watch football? Ooh, yes I do. That's a hobby. Alright, what else do you do, Ross? Oh, 
That would be weird if it's about weird. Like, go to concerts. Okay. Okay. And uh, you, you work at the group. The, not hot, never mind. Phil, continue. Sorry. Okay. We we're not allowed to mention Jewel. Yes, we are. <clears throat> yes, okay. So I work at Jewel. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? Thanks for having me, guys. It's been an honor. Okay. Uh, any favorite band, favorite movie, favorite idol? I got to pass on on the bands because I listen to way too many bands. Well, what, what's your favorite one right now? Because I listen to something different every day. I would really love Dallion Theaters. Yeah? Yeah, it's just like, you know, I'm seeing them a week from Sunday with my uh, young little sister and her boyfriend. Ugh. It's just so hard when you listen to She has to a one. little boyfriend? He's not little. Oh. I, I'm sorry, man. I just spaced out. What? I said I'm going with, with my little sister to see Hey Breed. I thought you said you're going with her sister and her little boyfriend. And her, and her brother. Little sister. And, and boyfriend. And boyfriend. Yeah, okay. And the boyfriend is not little. Okay. No. Okay. You just, you're not little, man. We didn't call it. Okay. Yeah. And you, so you're seeing him with your little sister, little sister and her boyfriend. And her boyfriend. Hey, Boyd and Dying Fetus a week from yeah. s- Sunday. Your favorite movie? Right now? I have to say the, which, uh, you know, you said you like the Tim um, Koya it, which I had to comment on that. It it was good, but I th- I I thought it was kind of a kind of a cheesy humor compared to the newer it. It was brilliant, but again, if you see the newer it, completely different. See, I I think the original humor was far more subtle and far more clever. Yeah. The newer one is just like, hey, here's another vagina joke. You know. Did I'm, you see the newest one? I did. Um. The, oh, that's was that what the blue lips was about? <laughs> I, 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 don't know. You have no I don't idea. Know. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Was it? I what do. Are, I'm, what are blue lips, Ross? What about those blue lips? Yeah, will you tell us? Please tell, I, dude. I was I was actually gonna put like just for you. What is one of your sexual fantasies? But you already mentioned the blue lips, so now we just that gotta is talk it. About it. And I'm not a saying in this. I want to get a dominatus and get my ass kicked. Ooh, okay. That's always you want to get your ass kicked by a dominatus. Um, well, is it, is it gonna be on camera? Yes, it can be on camera. I'm not open about that. How open are you about that? I'm pretty open. Can we have that as like a bonus feature? You getting your ass kicked by a dominatrix? That's a good idea. I have to say no. That'll go great on a DVD. I have to say no. Some things you have and to. And you got to wear your jewel uniform when you do it. I, I, Groceries I, 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 I more have to say no. Okay. Well. All right. So so what 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 do you I don't I don't even know what do you mean get your ass kicked. I like physical pain. I really do. Okay. It's like to me I've been in pain mentally and physically my whole life. So. So you're having a really happy life then if you like it. Yes and no. It's like recently, you know, I've been constantly nothing but in pain. So what of you know these dominatrix can do to me? It's nothing what I've been through. So I would have to say, who who would you like as the dominatrix? Not Barbara Streisand. I will, no, a, you have to be. I'm being kind of serious right now. A I'm, being, I'm being serious. A professional who knows what she's doing. Professionally knows what she's doing. Yes. Okay. Uh, like whips and things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cigarette burns. That's what's in it. Okay. How about like a strap on? That's not no. That's that, not. That's enough. I want to be controlled. I like controlling people. Nobody can control me. You like being controlled? Yes. Well, then the strap on kind of would be. What if you're chained to the bed? You actually like. I want to take it off the butt. I don't want to take out the butt. I, I, I just told her what I said. You're, you're you're not listening. That's usual, Phil. Well, how do you know what she's gonna do? She's controlling you. Taking a whip and humiliating me. I want to be humiliated. You know what I'm trying to say? What, what if she calls you mean things? I don't care. I've been to- whatever she tells me is what's what I've been told in my life. Has anybody had a dominatrix before? No. No. All right. Since we're on it, I think I I think I made a girl, uh, like slice into my chest with a knife before during sex. Wait, you think you made a girl do that? 
I mean, I don't know if I had consent. Is what I'm trying to say. That that's because kiss of no, the no, no. I'm no, I'm just no a consent as in like she wasn't doing it hard enough. So I, I want, and then I'm like, oh fuck, you know, like these stains don't come out. So I had to get like a new bed sheet and shit. I didn't think it through. I think the whole fantasy through. No, I and, and I'm being serious. Like I didn't think it through. I didn't think like it would be, you know, oh blood doesn't come out and shit like that. So. But, that's a little, I'm a, that's a little gray area for me. I'm fine with like getting beat or whip, but getting cut, not so much. That's just next level in my opinion. Next level of dominatrix. Yes. So you'll get there. Eventually. I don't think I ever do because I don't. I just don't like being cut. I don't even like needles. What's well, so a big reason why I don't have tattoos? I'm actually thinking about getting a tattoo for Christmas. I think you should. I think. I was, Let me ask uh, you what? guys this. It, would you have, if one of you guys, you guys moved to another state, would you rather spend the money on a good friend to go visit him in Alabama or get a tattoo? Tattoo, hands down. Tattoo, hands down. Mm. You, you're moving to Alabama, aren't you? No, one of my buddies moved to Alabama and I want to use the money to go visit him. Miss you, Lewis. Lewis? Yeah, his name is Lewis. From, from, from Jewel? Oh, uh, yeah. Really? Oh. Mm hmm no I, no, I don't know. I mean... It... Yeah, you know, it, it's funny about Lewis. You know, um, I literally... you We connected with you. I thought you'd be the last person I'd be cl close with. I, I would be I, the last person? Well, Thank, being, good, being, good, being good friends with, you know. You know? Yeah. And I, and this guy started, who was your age, you know, he started, you know, he started walking. He, he was a checker that went to the front desk. And um, we started talking, you know, we started being, you know... And then he... Uh, Thought we hang out, and you know, one night we were at our chillers, and he said, "Hey, would you like to go to ha having bodies?" I said, "Oh yeah." I said, "Yeah, absolutely." Yeah. And I got myself a lap dance. Was it's funny if you remember the first time I got my lap dance? Where was it at with you and and Brad? Was it Hydrate? You don't remember? It was Scores. No, what was that? Admiral. That place that uh, what's his face? Don't forget his name. The YMCA. Oh, excuse me, I'm pooping. Um, Carlos. Carlos recommend this little skanky ass, uh, bo you know, bar that you know you can get lap dance at. I think it was Admiral. Yeah, Admiral. It's because be fucking Vlad, you know, be after that we went to you know. I'll pull a mic closer. Oh, he uh he uh we want to go to an extra strip club. He yeah. Pull, he put up his fake his extra ID. And he had a fake ID, and he's like, oh, shit, this is my real ID. And then you took me, you know, having bodies. And then, you know, that's when I got my foot, actual first strip dance, because the one at Amos, they didn't get tapless. They just grinded on you. And then, you know, I, you know, with this guy named Lewis, um, he um, asked, I got, he got me to get, convinced me to get a lap dance. I did it, you know, about, I think it was two weeks ago. I went upstairs and spent 60 bucks on a lap dance and I got it like 20 minutes and not, nobody since Lewis yeah got convinced got me to you know said you know what go for it you know you're comfortable go for it and you know well it, you weren't comfortable when you did it I was comfortable with you guys but nobody else I would like hey let's go to heaven bodies let's have a good time have some drinks you know how about this Ross what because we're your buddies here right everybody's buddies were with the Dino Basco how would you feel about us getting you a prostitute? I say absolutely not. Whoa! All right. Why? What? What? What if it's a dominatrix and she knows what she's doing? There's a difference. And she doesn't do any cutting. There's a difference between you know a dominatrix and a prostitute. And to me, a po prostitute, all they want is sex. I don't want to have sex. Okay. I just. Wanna... So you're telling me, so you're gonna let me save money and just find someone to kick your ass is what you want us to do? And dress in leather while they're doing it. So I could just get like a Hell's Angel biker. You're putting me on the spot, which I don't know how to answer at the moment. No, I. Well, I guess what I'm saying is I don't know why you turned down a prostitute. Because I don't want sex. Yeah, but you could do a lot of other weird shit. You could just like <laughs> make your popcorn in leather. I, I, I like gothic goes. I like. I told you, I like gothic goes with tattoos with leather. That's what I'm into. You know. Okay. I, okay. I was thinking about this Lewis situation. What if you got a tattoo of Lewis? And said, no, no, <laughs> no, absolutely not. I, I like the guy. It's like 
I, you know, I, you know, I, we want a vacation, man. You know, I, maybe shit will happen when I'm in Alabama and Glenn Lewis. He's all about it. So he's that Ross, give me a, you know. Well, knowing Ross and, and you know how much you don't like, a, you, you, you know, there might be another protest over a statue in Alabama. Dude, I, the problem with me going to Alabama and he says, you know, he's trying to be open. I, I visit him. They're so bad down there. They're so close minded. You know, everything like. What, like rednecks? Yes. Well, he says, yeah. you know, that kind of like that kind of not. But again. By the way, just so, side note, I don't mean to interrupt you. Ross, you're not really racist. We just, we just, you know, I know you wanted to mention this. We just bust balls and we don't give a fuck. We say whatever the fuck we want. Absolutely. Sometimes my ego gets, a, you know, a, you know, a hold of me. You know, yeah. Some in, image thing. But, you know, yeah, I know you guys don't think I'm a racist. But some people over there might not. Just kidding. I don't fucking care. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, we, I know exactly what you mean. There's going to be a lot of people who just, they, they don't even know why they hate somebody. You I know? don't hate anybody. To be honest, it's more the religion thing that I, I don't like, because I think religion is all about, you know, playing less and controlling people. Well, you know, you got to be a Christian to be a Satanist, right? Shut up. You do? Can I tell you this? No. Well, that, okay, so how, how do you be a Satanist? How do you know what to do if you don't read, how do you know what to not do? If you don't read the Bible. Have you absolutely read the Satanic Bible? Satanic oh, that's that's just a guy jagging off to himself. You know who wrote it, right? Yeah, Anton LaVey. That's just a guy worshipping himself. That's just, that's called having an oh, ego. Oh, you did read it. So, you know, I, I was testing you. That, 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 it was bullshit. Yeah, it's just worshipping yourself. Which I, don't, I do like it. It's it, just it, getting a creepy Felix, the cartoon mustache. What I like you know? about it is, is like, it's like I, somebody fucks with you. I feel like I have, I can fuck with you back. If somebody like like yeah. s- somebody like messes with Gabbard or Kelly, or you know talks shit or do, do wrong to them, you feel like you have a right to give, you know say do something back. Yeah, well that's just being uh, I don't know having a pair of balls. You don't got to be Christians a Satanist. Don't feel that va- valley. Yeah, well yeah exactly. Being a Satanist, you got to have some balls, and being yes. a Christian, you got to touch that, some balls. I don't balls. agree with everything what he says, but someone I do. So am I yeah. 100% agree what he says? No. Well, I, I thought you meant more like the traditional Satanist. Where no, you... I know what I'm talking about, Phil. I'm not talking about the big red dude with the horns. In the South Park movie? No. Who's in love with Saddam? <laughs> no. no, I'm not. I, I, I like the culture of tradition, traditional Satanism. Yeah, I do I think I, I love that too. That, that's that's what makes Skyrim amazing when you when you play you know black metal music in the background and you're slaying. I have never done that. That, uh, it's fucking great. That's the only way to play Skyrim. You put some Gorgoroth in the background or some Mayhem. I'm fucking serious. I had that music when I was. Uh, wow, I didn't think about. That's awesome. It is awesome, dude. Actually, you re- replay it that way. You asked me who I would love to see in a black metal right now. It has to be Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth is to me a true black metal band. But you know that singer quit. They're, on, they're, they're up to five singers now. Up to five? Yes. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I kind of like the weird guy who kidnaps people. He was great. I, yeah, you know, you know, what he did. <laughs> he, it was it, it, he. Uh, he kidnapped somebody and drained the blood. Yeah, drained, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Ball, Gal. How, yeah. Yeah. He. He. That's. That's. Uh, I guess I don't know what you would call it. His. Um, he's. He's a whole new type of homosexual. That's the way he explained it. Mm-hmm. That. Uh. Yeah. I, I think we talked about this. Where he uh, did I tell you about this or no, Bill? Maybe. Did yes. I, no, but John. No. Yeah, no. The sing. Okay, so the singer Gorgoroth. Uh, I think they were in the whole church burning, uh, packed with mayhem. Actually, when they, the whole. Po- well, well, they well they they asked him if he was part of it, and he's like, I, no, I don't, and he's like, well, are you against it? He's like, absolutely not. I support him. So that was kind of badass. Mm-hmm. But no, he um. He, they uh, asked him, I think on like Vice or something. They were like, you know, how do you feel about being in something like a black metal band in a fucking a group that's associated with like, you know, nationalism and, uh, you know, Golganov the, is not a national black. They, metal. they were part of the National Front. They were, or no, maybe they weren't. I, I don't know. Well, well, they just There's felt only how, like four bands that I know it, it's label that, and they, and they no, all suck. Yes. Yeah. And, well, uh, he yeah no he was just like how do you how do you feel like being gay and being in a in the black metal crowd and he's just like, I mean I don't put up the whole front and the whole uh, 
you know the the gay that pop culture has of you know being a uh, I don't know just super flamboyant and bouncing around and stuff just the stereotypical what you think of a, a gay guy being he's just like you know I just he was saying I, I think he said something like it's part of him being a satanist of just conquering another beast that's muscular mm-hmm. so yeah he he got hit on at a bar by like a flamboyant gay dude and he just kidnapped him and then drained his blood and, and drank it yeah and drank it yeah so I mean we've all been there yeah do you have anything to add about this? You have no idea what. Talk have you about ever John. done that, John? I, like it, Bill said, we've all been there. I don't think this is anything yeah. really surprising. So, oh, we got any more questions? Oh no, I was gonna say, you know, you're not gonna get. So you're not gonna t- get a tattoo of Lewis. No, you know, it's it's like if you got a tattoo, what would you get? Well, it's funny that you you ask like me. since you hate needles and getting stabbed or well, cut. Well, I have to say something. I don't well, favor bands. I this is what I have to finish. Yeah. I, I favor bands that I've been listening to the longest, and you know what my what I've been who I actually have a lot of passion for. Say, say the band. Barbra Streisand. No, just say it. Abba. Slipknot. Slip. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why I say I'll get a tattoo for, for two reasons. I've been long, going on eighteen years of being a fan of that band. Yeah. Nonstop. And so I, you'd get a Slipknot tattoo. Because it, there was a one reason, two reasons actually. Ladies love Slipknot fans. No, because I've been a fan for a long time, and I love the Pinecon logo that they have. You know the one with the circle? I think so. Yeah, and I, you know, I see that, and it's like I, it's most people are not going to know what that how that is. Can I make a suggestion? What? What I think? I don't really like Slipknot anymore, but if I were you, I would get. You know how they have the numbers on the side of their arm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course I do. And then the barcode. Well, I would get the barcode on the back of my neck or the number on the side of my arm of my favorite member. I don't have a favorite member anymore. Fucking Corey Taylor is a fucking pussy. Whoa. Okay. That, so is that what Trump is grabbing? No. Do we have to get into the, the to the Oompa Loompa? No, no, no. We're not getting it. Get a, uh, can, I call, can, can I call him an Oompa Loompa Trump? You guys get the drunk joke? Yeah. I don't. He looks yellow. I thought he looks orange. Orange, yes. What is the Oompa Oompa from Charles? I guess orange is a shade of yellow. Yeah, he doesn't have a green toupee, though. <laughs> you got you just ruined the joke. Well, That's what I do. That's, that's what, what I, I call him. I, I, call, I can't do stand-up. I, 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 that's what I call him. I call him Oompa Oompa. That's because he, he's yellow or orange. This is the point. Is, you know, um, actually, is either the Pentagon I'm going to get or the S with the two lines? I might Okay, own. okay. And I... And I finally, you know, have enough money. So, to, so you're saying, uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you're saying, like, if you hate getting stabbed or cut, if you had to get a tattoo, that's what you would get. That's what not tattoo, absolutely. Would it be, because uh, this is important, would it be colored or just black? Just black. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's me, too. I, I don't like colored tattoos. I don't well, like them. Well, you know what? It, it's just, to me, is like, I, I like black and red. I'm dark. I'm a dark guy. I like everything dark, and I, why am I want to get all you know a, a, a bunch of you know colors? So what about you, Bill? You got a lot of color tattoos, right? I've got. I just noticed that one. Oh, shit. That one. Yeah. Yep. And then I've got Celtic cross. For those of you who can't see. Right? Yep. Sorry. Is it cross um, cross cross? It's a Celtic cross. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about the the band. Well, um, I don't. I've got a clown. On my ankle, I've got Frank Zappa's mustache and beard. Oh, shit. What do you get that, that at? Which, the clown or the mustache? The Frank Zappa one. The, I, the mustache. I that is an awesome idea. How did you come? The fan of or this? Uh, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> uh, and actually, my old roommate's sister uh, did it for me in this house in unincorporated Springfield, Illinois. I was on a dirty mattress in like a machine shed. and Did she have a gun or did she do it like pen and ink? Uh, she had a gun. Okay. And she wanted to be a tattoo artist, so she ordered one. And she'd been practicing on, like, the practice skins. Yeah. And she's like, this isn't good. I need some, like, real, you know, flesh. So my roommate and I volunteered. So he got, like, a Digimon logo on his left breast over here. Or some little icon from Digimon. And I got the mustache and soul patch. And then that's when I was, like, 17, 18. And, like, three years later, I think I was, like, 2021, 
went to Shy Town Tattoo, and I was like, "Can you redo this and fill this in?" They're like, "Yeah, fifty bucks." I was like, "Cool." Yeah. What uh, What about you, John? No, I don't have any. Uh, I mean, what would you get if you had? Um. Thug life. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I don't think that's me. Um, we I could was get thinking, matching teardrops. That was one thing I was thinking actually. Uh, On your te- teardrops, you? yeah, teardrops. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. I, maybe a, a fisherman too. Ooh. Yeah. For less. John the fisherman. Uh, n- no, not for that. But for oh, other reasons. I really thought it was because of Primus. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> o- other reasons, but yeah, it's yeah. I I love fishing too. So. Oh okay. You know, another thing I always thought about a, a lot of big people with tattoos goes against for some reason. I want to put, you know, somewhere in my body, cancer free. When I got it out, big people get that. People don't want, want say don't don't put cancer free the day until now. Yeah, I was gonna. I, well, that means for, something to me, but people say that's you, you, if you get it back, it's like I don't. I'm not thinking about that. Yeah, I know. I, what I do you think you, about that? You think that it has a good meaning? Well, cancer free. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess if it if it like. You know, probably it was a big part of your life. It was. It was, you know, so you were kind of you were start of being t- friends again. I, I, you kind of remember me in 2016 when we first did. I seem kind of out of it. I mean, you you seemed like uh, well, yeah. You told me you didn't want to tell me that like y- you lost a ball. Do you remember the conversation we had? I was I was going for radiation, so I was kind of yeah. But you remember what happened? Like you were like like I thought it was because. You know, oh, you know, you went home and your mom caught you with a swastika on the back of your head or whatever, and then the gay porn on your computer. And I was like, oh man, I'm just joshing. No, no, but uh, no, you, you, I thought that was why we stopped hanging out. And then you it, told it, me, it can be honest with you. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so now I'll never know why I was an asshole. See, this is why I just move on, and I, I'm just leaving a burning trail of bridges behind. But me. again, you know. I, I, I had a feeling the back in my gut. That yeah, we'll, we'll be friends. You said it correctly. It was a high a high it is. You know, I needed it in my life. You yeah, it. and we, and again, we're friends again. So what does it matter? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying I can put more gay porn on your computer and swastika? You're never there. touching my computer okay. again. I thought that's how. And good you friends. didn't hack me. You 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 came over with Brad and then you you sat in my chair and you put a bunch of gay gay videos on my. I remember every. Dude, I, Ross. I, what. I am not against homosexual. I was just trying to help you come out. I'm not gay, but I do like gay people. By the way, though, you know, I have to say that gay people are one of the w- nicest people. Honestly, I think they're the best dressing yeah. people. I they, love them. You know, even though they they always look so you know clean and you know nice looking. Yeah, because they take care. They care yeah. themselves. They love exactly. each other. And well, you know, I, what what was Kathleen? Kath, 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 you know, you Kathleen, uh, friends, uh, best friend. That Johnny kid? Yeah. He, he made gay people look bad. He, he was he such w- a bitch. He was a cocksucker who yeah. was a cocksucker. Yes. That's what he, yeah. Yeah. No, he was a fucking piece of shit. You know what we're talking about? You might wait. I've met him. What you, what's your opinion on him? Mm. No, he, he was super, he he would tell me, he's like, I don't give a shit. I fucking hate like black people and shit like that. He said that to you? Yeah. Yeah. He'd, yeah. he'd say shit like, and, and, and I mean, I don't know what to say to that. I mean, like. I, and it, I don't know, he, like, him and, you know, it was just that whole weird thing. I went out with this chick who she had, like, what, I don't, they, they call it, we call it a fag hag. You know, everybody had a fag hag. And that's that's just what you call it. And, and they were, it was just so fucking weird to go out with this person because they, she, I mean, how would you guys react? Here's this guy who was straight up until high school. Went to the prom with a with a chick, Uh-oh. and then suddenly, they're best friends, and he's no longer straight, and he's like telling her how to dress, like she's naked. But and I'm just like, you know, I never met a gay person until that point, so I was just like, here's this guy, that's, well, the other thing too was she was on his puppet strings, like. You think he was faking it? Oh, this no, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't faking it. It was because just like, yo, know, yo, dude, yo, is this is this guy good for you? Is this does he? What what do you think is his best feature? You know, I guarantee he he probably be like, yeah, can you get some dick pics for me? Or we're not friends. You know, like he he was he was like that. I guarantee you, he had like a fucking crush on me or something. Because 
I because after I broke up with her, we became best friends, and then you were friends with Johnny for a little bit. Yeah, how he, was that after made, you guys made, broke made, up? He, after me and Johnny broke up? No, I mean Kathleen. No, uh, how was it? I don't know. It was kind of weird. I mean, thing was, both of them. I feel like both of those people, and I'm not talking about any other people who are any other girls who are friends with homosexual people. And, you, and they, can I? They, they like loved to do whatever the hell was popular and trend. They were they were in high school at fucking 25 years old. That's what it was, and it was like, oh, this thing is the new cool thing. We're gonna compete. Who can, you know, and have have a more uh, whatever love and passion for whatever subject it is, whatever band it is, whatever uh, store, you know, clothing brand, and they just sort of like they, they, there's a lot of toxicity there, you know. Yeah. And what? then and then I think when I became friends with them, it was sort of like, yo, you don't want to be friends with me. You you, you it, it was weird because it's like you're gonna fucking, you know, go out this person without my approval and. It was just drama shit. So so I'm going to be f- best friends with him now to get, fucking spite you. And then I stopped being friends with him. So then I I uh I went out with her again. <laughs> but you you know what the awesome a couple of, I don't want to say this out loud um that it was awesome when you said that when Kathleen, you know, started being, trying to get back to get get over you and she said Phil, I don't know about you. I just can't get enough of you and you t- you touch so you have your touch your dick. What? <laughs> you why, said it to and me. why are you why are you whispering this? <laughs> like she's not going to see this show. Okay. Oh, you said to me. I uh, think you should scream it at this point. Okay. When I remember, you took me to a cigar shop and we started talking again. Yeah. One of the first things I I we started you gotta talking about. Pull the mic closer. Talking about Kathleen. Because we're screaming this now. Kathleen. Yeah. I don't know what what was the years. Okay. We seen. Yeah. And you, and you remember you, this you, is the Dino Bosco version of me. This isn't me. Just no. This is you talking, Phil. And you, I remember you said. Yeah, but this isn't me now. I'm not. Oh, this is like me back in the you and back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. you bef- after, it was like a couple years after you broke with with Kathleen. Yeah. And you, she, you, you hanged out with her. Yeah. And and you got she, you took you 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 said you took she said to you I don't know about you, Phil. I can't get enough of you. You're t- you, you know, you're talk this in the way you said it. And and then you took a hand and took it on your dick. No, I asked her if she wants to play a thumb war, but my penis was the thumb instead. <laughs> That's really the you story. You remember what I, I'm talking about. Yeah, no, yeah. that really is the story. Yeah. And, um, yeah, she kind of went for it for the first five rounds, and then, like, why is this thumb growing? You know. It, that, is she weird that stupid? Um. Yeah. I I okay. Once again, I don't think all women are stupid, but she was. There's a lot of women who are much more intelligent, much more wise than me. But she was a dumb broad. You know what? Yeah. The only thing I liked about her, and I I say this again. Yeah. Her ass was <laughs> epic. Well, outside yeah, that, I, guess, I never understood what you saw in her. What I saw in her, well, it was another yeah. thing that I I, I I had to get two fists in those blue lips. Too. You know what? Another thing I I found was hilarious. I'm sorry. Can you? It's okay. Can, sure, yeah. say it with two. This, we're, well, this is all straight okay, up. Okay, you you said you were doing dog in a hole, dog yeah. style, and you 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 saw some toilet paper in her ass. Yeah, well, yeah. she had such a huge ass that, that she you didn't. Po- she forgot what was. Yeah, 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 she didn't wipe her ass the right way, so she pretty much like rolled joints with those buttocks. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not kidding, man. Like, I mean, what would you do, John? What would you, what would you do, Bill? Start well, baths. well, actually, she probably rolled a joint better than I did. <laughs> right? with, that, with her ass. With her ass, yeah. So I don't know, but yeah, I don't. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not trying to talk shit. This is just a true story. Well, it's funny. It's funny as shit. What do you think, John? I mean, fuck. I I got a hairy ass, so I get toilet paper stuck in it all the time. But I wash it out before sex. Yeah. That you gotta be. You gotta have some class. You know. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. Maybe Johnny told her to do that. Johnny can <laughs> suck a big dick. Whoa. Well, he's going to take that as a compliment now. What do you think? Was, was he a pitcher or a catcher? Uh, I don't know, man. I think you should ask him. And you should be like, so anyways, are you a dominatrix and wear leather? Oh. But no cutting. This is good. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This is getting better right now. I, I see that tablecloth rising. I, I don't have 
Mr. Vasco down there is not that big. <gasps> He's not. No. Are you willing to show it for us? <laughs> no. No. I think you look at Johnny. He's like, where, 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 where is this show going, man? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We, things got to. We need a break. Or right. something. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that that was a nice little. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was That's, good. That was good. That. Um. Well. Anyways, back to why we stopped hanging out. Was having to do with your. Sorry, we got to get back to Ross's you know, I, genitals. I wanted, you know, it's not about Ross. This is what I don't want. You it know. is about Ross because you're a guest and we love you. Um. Anyway, let me say what, what what you told me. You didn't tell me it was because of the swastika and the gay porn on your computer. It wasn't it was, gay porn. It was, it was definitely the swastika. You, you told uh, well. You, you see, and you changed it again. No, you told me it was because uh, you you were embarrassed to tell me that you had ball cancer, and I said, "Dude, that's messed up." We just saw Tom Green, and dude, I didn't I didn't get diagnosed with with with, with that cancer until twenty sixteen. No, you told me that, like, because I asked you, I'm like, you know, if you don't can you mind. Do a, can you say a question, not ball cancer, this be respectful, say t- testicle cancer, please? Testicle cancer please. is the respectful way? Yes, please. It means a lot. Okay. Yeah. You told me about your testicle cancer mm-hmm. that I, I asked, you know, not to be disrespectful because I never, because I, I never knew anybody with that, and I, I'm just curious, how big did your testicle i'm not dead a sh- I'm, I'm not a sh- are you cool with how, how i can show you t- it no you told you're gonna show it right yeah. now are you cool with yeah. go ahead go ahead i thought you're gonna pull it out no i, I don't have any more oh never mind dude i, th- I, I can show it it was it is as big as a baseball yeah it's what you told me that yeah. it's like and, and and i said dude not to be a fucking asshole again but didn't you think that that was kind of crazy to have like a baseball sized ball and you told me no because of that ACDC song, Big Balls. <laughs> that's, that's what you told it's me. It's always, a, it's always a. And then, and, and then, and then when I, and then when you, and then you're like, no, I don't know, I got big balls, you, you know, I, I got big balls, guy. And then I'm like, well, what do you think that like your dick is, like pretty fucking small compared to those big balls? Then my dick is not, my dick is about eight inches. I, I couldn't contip. You just said it's Ro, little Roscoe isn't that big. Okay, what what do you consider a little little dick? All right. Um, a Under little. Dif- have you seen Have you seen the the movie Doors? The movie Doors. Yeah, the, with Val Kilmer. Mm. Uh, a long time ago. Okay. Does he have a little dick? Well, he, um, if he asked the um, Jim Lewis got um, arrested in Miami. Yeah. For disposal. Yeah. But he then he he whipped up his finger, so this his finger was it was his pointer finger it was like this. Yeah. So my is like two like this. My dick. Thank you for letting me know. I'm not ashamed. No, I mean, well, what does that have to do with Jim Morrison? Well, I'm making a point. It's like, he was he, Jim Morrison being a drunk asshole. Okay. And he was like, whip, well, whip. what do you think is a little dick then? Like a like a like that, but Brad's finger. <laughs> I'm so- we're, we're all gonna fucking put in hell with this episode. Answer the, the question. This is Ross. brought to you by little dicks and stubs. You know, <laughs> he doesn't even know who this guy is, and we'll fucking. I've rip. heard enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you heard enough. Now say, what do you think about little dicks, John? What's a little dick? Hey, no comment, man. What? You gotta tell. You gotta tell us, Nook. No, nothing. No. All right. What? What about you, Bill? What's the little? I say under five. Under five. These guys are bustle. I, I, I erect s- or just sagging. Erect. Yeah, I, I, I probably agree. Like that's general rule of thumb. Plus, I fall above average if we use that as the metric. So that's. You know. I think I'd be average then. Oh yeah, but you know, like, oh yeah, under five, small, me. What what's two pretty ha- large re- what's relatively? Two, what's two hands when you have to jack up with two hands? That's me. You got to jack up with two hands. Yes. Okay. Um, how how about I don't know any. I'm open. You guys are like. I'm no. I'm open too. What you want? You want to? Oh I'm, fuck! I just went deaf in this ear. <laughs> this dick shit is getting me too excited. No, <laughs> I'm serious. No, I just heard like ringing right here. Anyways, no. Um. I, I don't know. I what you want to know? How I jack off. 
No, I was. Uh, I'm be honest. I just guess my, what? I have to use them hands. Guess how many? I bet none of you can guess. Guess how many hands I use? Five. Four. I I, I still think you use one. None. Because you got a girlfriend. No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not trying to be a cocky asshole. No, I use none. I swear to God. I fucking okay. I learned how to jizz or or jag off when I was like I don't know five or six, and it was from watching. I re- remember to this day a Cindy Crawford exercise video, and I'd watch it all the time. Uh, and my mom yes. didn't know. And my mom didn't know why. And you know how I got it? I got it from doing. Pretty much picture doing jumping jacks on your stomach against the carpet. Mm-hmm. That's that's how. So so the best way I can describe it. I'm not even kidding, and I'm not like like that's just a straight up way. You know how? Uh, what's his name? The killer in Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill. You know how Buffalo Bill tucks it in. Mm-hmm. I just got to keep tucking it in randomly. Hmm. That that's how I jack off. Just doing jumping jacks on like the bed now? No, well, no, not no, no, no. I just gotta, I just lay down and I keep tucking it in. It's weird. I can't jag off with my hands. Weird. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah. I use one hand, which is at, by the way, fucking. That's what grammar school and high school. Well, high school was all boys school, but grammar school was fucking great because those desks were pretty fucking tight. <laughs> so. Huh? Let me ask you something, uh, Phil. And and you know you know Phil from middle school. Um, was he? Uh, did did you was Phil in high school and and Phil in middle school? Was kind of the same guy. Yeah, he was the same guy. Um, see, in middle school, I was picked on a lot, and and I and I had a lot of problems in middle school because that's when my uh, mental illness was kind of kicking in, and I, I was being kind of aggressive. Yeah, so I got picked on so much. And, and I remember this this uh, teacher named Mrs. Kobogo. Fuck you, bitch. Mm. To this day, I can say this. She sounds cute. And I threw a death side hoe, actually, because she pissed me off so much. Oh, but was she cute? She was actually 28 back then, back in 2000. So she's in her 40s now. So back then, no. As I remember, she was ugly. Now, I think she's probably got, got out ugly. The size of the point. I got picked on so much that... The time by my freshman year, I was working out obsessively about five days a week, and I got so ripped that you know when people saw me down there, no using two hands. I'm not talking about any people talking sexual. Oh, know, the other working out, working out actually. Yeah, it's like I got messed up so much that people you know saw me in high school. I worked out so much they didn't want to fuck with me. So well, did you did you did you get into any fights in high school? No, because I was I was that big. I was I was pretty big, man. I was not even kidding. And you know the, the more this story is, you know, when I see a lot of people my age, you know how they look nowadays. Yeah, they look like fucking thought out assholes who who look ugly. Wow, thanks, Ross. I'm not talking about you. All right. I'm talking to people of my age who are like, you know, the perhaps the <laughs> jocks. They all look hideous in on like, you know, they pass the peak. Yeah. And and I and I get all the attention now. Like they used to look like a Abercrombie and Fitch commercial and now they look like the diabetes commercial, right? Yeah, they look horrible. <laughs> I don't and this you know, life happens for a reason. You know, I got picked on. I I I, I didn't look very good in high school. Yeah. And now you you look good. Bill looks good. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know, Thank we you. all look good. You know, I'm assuming, you know, we all probably did, didn't, I don't know. Did, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. We, we we didn't hit our prime when we were young. I'm still waiting to hit mine. You look, you look, you <laughs> it's look coming. Good. Uh, thank you, Ross, yeah. but, you know, like life's prime. Yeah. So, John, two hands, no hands. Uh, I'll pull you the fifth. Uh, no. You already said two. Or oh, do you, for are you use like a, a door? A, a door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like you just keep sh- slamming just it shut. It. Um, no, I don't use a door. No, no. I don't think he's gonna answer. No comment. No comment. All right, that's all good. Uh, random question. Yeah. Are those little something somethings down here? Do you guys remember? Um, have you ever heard of Streetwise? No. Yeah. Yeah, nope. 
Is that uh, where you got the sticker from? Yeah. They used to, um, Streetwise was like a, I think when internet was just getting popular, they had a website where like when new, new everything, <laughs> new bands, new comedians, new shows were coming out with shit, they just send you a whole shit load of free crap. T-shirts, stickers, it was just for you to fucking sticker up the town, you know? Sure. Street team. Yeah. And the one I regret the most is because I covered my whole desk because I didn't really know who he was. I just wasted a shitload of Easy E stickers. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So we were talking about Little Dicks. Yeah. <sighs> no. We we talk about Little Dicks too much, I feel like. See, I disagree. I don't think... I don't think we ever got a solid answer out of Ross. What? About what? Little dicks. I don't have a little dick. No, but what is your... Like, what makes a dick little? Uh, when you don't get an ejaculation. <laughs> you gotta pull the mic towards you. When you don't have, like, a, a, a ejaculation. So, well, what if I had ejaculation, but I had, like, a... I bet I bet election. Oh, okay. Election, boiler. Yeah, like what if I had a belly, but, uh, belly button, but I was ejaculating? It's like a nub. If it doesn't stick up at all, that's not. So your definition of a little dick is like ten centimeters. Is that? Yeah, or like an inch. Like half an inch. Yeah, exactly. What if what if I'm like two years old? Why are we talking about that? It's like. Well, I think he brings up an excellent point. And somebody used to call me. Having a baby dick. Hmm. Okay. A baby dick is under an inch. Okay. Okay. S- so it goes baby and then little. Yeah. Little then, then baby dick. Well, if you're going from smallest to largest, it would go baby, and then little. Again, it goes little then baby dick. So a baby dick is larger than a little dick. You're twisting my words. I said a baby dick is smaller than a lo- than a little. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're arguing about something we agree. Oh, on. put that bag on the ground, just oh. so we can see. I want to see your blue lips when you talk about little dicks. Okay. So we got it right. The baby dick is first, then little dick. Yes. Right. Um. I th- speaking a, a little dick just to um cuz uh, you know it said would you like to say one of the questions was what would you like to see about yourself well i can tell you i learned something a little bit about myself cuz people ask me you know i don't like it when people tell me that i haven't changed cuz i feel like i've I, I i i think i've grown in wisdom and spirituality i've I, i've i've gotten to know who i am a little bit better i'm a lot less angry a lot happier but Actually, I took a... You know what's the weirdest fucking thing? I was shocked, and I laughed. I took a personality, like a WebMD personality test. Mm-hmm. And you know what I got? I thought I was going to get high anxiety. My anxiety was 60%, 100% intellect, hmm. which I couldn't... I mean, I could, I, I, I could understand, because I, I, ne- I didn't really think... Like, intellect is more like what I was talking about, Jer- uh, Jordan Peterson, the doctor, where mm-hmm. it's like, you know, well, this happens because of this. It's sort of like a more intuitive uh, understanding of how things work through energy and through emotions, you know, like at the same time. So I guess I, I, I would agree if it's, it has to do with that, but... Wait, what were the other ones, though? Like you got 60% there was, that, 100% that, what were, what were all the categories? Um, there was, I think there was like a submissive, which I'll be honest, I don't even remember what that means. And Ross would get a zero. Wait, no, 100 yeah, because you want the dominatrix. Mm-hmm. You'd probably get a lot of points in submissive. Yeah, and I, I, I don't, I don't remember that there was literally it was a, like a spider web of like twenty, but those were the highest ones. I well, those were the ones that I focused on because I think um, uh, there was like a, um, something with memory maybe, which I would probably get zero. I don't know, but no, there, there's a lot of them, and um, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember what I got for memory. Fair you enough. Know. No, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about or what we were talking No, I was just curious about you were on WebMD. Yeah. 
Well, you're talking about little dicks. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Talking about how uh, to know a little bit about me. Uh, yesterday, Thanksgiving family, we were watching Family Memories. Oh, and I was talking about how I don't like how when people say like, "Oh, you haven't changed. You're this, you're the same guy." Well, I, I'm always gonna bust ball. That's just I like to have fun. That's you know what I don't give a fuck. Like if you're having laughter, is what cures everything. You could be the you know richest fucking corrupt political fuck in the top of the you know pyramid or you could be a sl- slave in plantation times you could be down in your dump laughter cures everything and that's why i just love you know i i i, I don't think there's anything any jokes that you can't say but um so one thing that uh that i found funny i guess i had a video of me and my brother I think he was like, this will tell you a lot about me from birth, that, you know what, I, busting balls is like, I can't change it, man. It's in my blood. Because what did you do to your brother? It's just a video of my mom taping him because I'm always like running in front of the camera and shit and trying to be, you know, center of attention when I was a kid. Just, just not even center of attention, just like causing trouble. And uh, so we're running around the house naked because it was like right before bath time. I think he was like three and i was like six and we were starting a mafia no uh and then so so forget about it so i i no no it's just him just trying to dance to like yanni music because my mom was a huge fucking yanni fan and and then i just like in the middle of the whole thing he's about to do like a ballerina spin and i just fucking yanked his little baby dick full full and then like the camera turns off i'm like yep that summarizes who i (laughs) Some things never change. So I got the most experience in baby dick. That's what I'm telling you, Ross. Yeah, you're the authority. Hmm. Got a comment on that, John? <laughs> no comment. So do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I got, I got a sister. I got four sisters. It's not a competition, Ross. I never said it was. Well, no need to sound so prideful. When you announce you have more sisters than John. That's just, that's just Vasco. Fair enough. Yep. The, the sister competition? Right. Well, I'll be honest with you, having so many sisters, I never, ever, really, ever get shy by girls. It's always that one one girl that does it to me, but majority of girls... It, it I, does it? What? Well, it? Like the, like the clown? No, it does what as in it? Like one one percent girl, a, a, a female will like make me a little like... Nervous? Yes. What kind of girl is that? The dominatrix. I I would like to think so. I wouldn't know. No, yet. no. What ki- what kind of girl? Describe it. A girl that I'm actually attracted to. What's that's who. What I'm still trying to find. If you're out there and you like that, like that girl at the Halloween party. That yep. that you told her, I think you got a great personality, and then scooted next to her. Yours? Not my girlfriend. No, no, what what are you talking about? I don't even know this. There was a a girl, my, my girlfriend's friend at the Halloween party, who you said looks exactly like Sam. What? Uh, whatever. Okay. Doesn't matter. But she was of that one percent. Yeah. That's, oh, that's what they're called, right? One percent. No, I, I I I wasn't. No, I was just trying to be fun, friendly with her. Trying to be friendly by <laughs> scooting next to her, telling her I never did person. that. If I did, if I did that, I'm sorry. That it's like that's it's, I never did that. She was pretty offended. She was a lesbian. Well, but she had a great personality. Yeah, I never scooted next to her. She said that to you. No, I I watched it while jagging off in the corner. Now I know you're bullshitting. No, no, I I just I I thought I all right. Yeah. So. What is the little dick? I think we need to call it because this is going nowhere. All right. No, no, I'm I'm kidding. So yeah. here we go. I've got a question. Yeah, we we. Uh, no, no, I was gonna say we gotta we gotta talk about something else. Yeah. We're editing this whole lesbian little dick thing. Yeah, please. No, I <laughs> thought that, that was some pretty groundbreaking stuff. It was some groundbreaking. All okay. Right. And anyway, my question is this, Ross? You mentioned you had four <laughs> sisters. Absolutely. All right. Now, can you rank them from most loved to most unloved? 
Like, uh, can you like? Do you have a favorite sister or second favorite sister? I actually do. She's taking me to see Hey Pauline and, and Diabetes right. a week from Sunday. Her name is Lynn. So that's your favorite sister. The one I'm closest with. I don't favor. You don't favor. I I, I don't have a favorite sister. With, I, I'm I'm closest with. Oh, but that's what I asked. Yes. Yeah. I'm closer with Lynn. Okay. And then it goes Mary, then Natalie, then Lauren. Oh, don't much care for Lauren. Lauren's the youngest. She's 21. I have no idea how to talk to her she, at all. It's like, So is she one of those women you get nervous around? Absolutely not. It's just, shut the fuck. <laughs> Shit. No, it's just like, she's very intelligent. She wants to take over my dad's business, who's the dentist. It's like, I have no idea. What to talk? How, what, yeah, she's like, she's one of the few, you know, all my sisters who can actually outsmart me. She does it all the time. She outsmarts you? Yes. The, the youngest one? Yes. Yeah, no, I, I think I can relate because um, I got a cousin who I wouldn't be surprised if she was in like a Girls Gone Wild video. She's kind of like a hoe that goes tanning and goes to all the Lollapalooza ecstasy fests. And um, she used to, we used to be really close. And then um, her mom's kind of like Courtney Love, except she d- doesn't get any dick, n- not even little dick. But Wait, not even baby dick? Not even baby dick. I mean, maybe she grabbed one of our dicks when we were little knowing her, but... That's no. maybe dick. Yeah, that's maybe baby, right? Something uh, like that, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, well, we used to be real close, and I don't know what to talk... I wouldn't even know what to talk about with a Girls Gone Wild fucking Loud Palooza what, hoe. What like, should we like, Girls Gone Wild? Maybe I, I saw her on it. Well, I don't honestly. I don't think she'd make the audition. She's kind of got a huge schnoz, <laughs> so yeah. I that that would be the wildest part is that fucking camel nose. But she, uh, no, uh, no. I mean, but it was. I, I could see where you're coming from because my brother, he's a huge gamer nerd. He's obsessed with Pokemon cards at 26, and uh, that's all he bought for Black Friday. Three hundred dollars worth of. You know, what I bought I, for Black Friday. I tweeted myself this uh, awesome bill. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I saved some for you, uh, Mr. Bill. What? Yeah, go ahead. What? What? Try it. Th- this? Yeah, try it. Ross. Yeah, go ahead. You forgot to scoot and tell him he's got a nice personality. The, yeah, right. Uh, that's. I know how you operate, Mr. Rubino. Well, and and so anyways, so we haven't seen her in like 10 years, and we don't know what to talk to her about. So, so my brother still asks her if he... Uh, well... Pretty good. What's this good. whispering, man? Oh, no. I saw you on We're telling secrets. No, you know, this is like... A, We're telling secrets, Do you know Ross. the story about the Bourbon County Bill? I forget, Ross. Well, this comes out every year. You know, I'm a big bill guy. Um, it's like Santa Claus. And it, it's... Um, we pull the mic towards you. Well, um, what makes this bill a little different... What a lot of people don't realize. A lot of people say, "Oh, I don't. I, I just drink milk light. I, I I drink, you know, cheap ass beer." This is mixed with, you know, bourbon that is aged for like eleven years, and you know, it's a very special beer. You know, everybody, oh, Black Friday, I get the best, you know, sales, the best this. You know what? I spent thirty dollars on three beers. This is my treat. So you know. Anybody who goes out to Best Buy, Target, getting all those best, you know, those deals. Yeah, all you fuckers out there buying TVs, buying shit, you're not buying Bourbon County. What the you're, fuck are you doing? You're your wasting your money. Was, was that a Black Friday deal? No. <laughs> like I said, I spent $30 on three deals. But to me, it's like, it, 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 it's so... T- what do you think about it, Bill? Well, it's good, but the thing is, they don't release it until Black Friday. Exactly, because they're trying to get money off you. The, the, I, so you never even know if it's a Black well, Friday there's deal. There's this customer today bought bought about five cases of of this beer. Was it that, you? No, it wasn't me. I and spent five hundred sixty dollars on this one beer. I spent thirty. It's like people out there spend all that money. It's good, but it's not that good. This person spent five hundred sixty dollars on this beer. Yeah, and it's like, props to you, you can afford it, but you know. All right. Well, they know they're going to drink it eventually. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I said, is it that good? They can't answer it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're asking them? 
As you're leaving the store with like hundreds of beer or like hundreds of dollars of beer, like is it worth it? Is it that good? Well, any good bill, you know, fiasco will answer that, and then I say yes, it is. Do you well, do you ask the same question to people to like a homeless man who buys the shittiest beer, if it's worth it? No. Then you don't care about everybody, because how do you know he's using his like, you know, cup change for the best beer? He could be buying Bourbon County on Black Friday. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Anyway, Goose Anyhow, Island is great. You're making me look like an asshole again. I'm. Um, making it. So Phil. Yeah. What, what are you gonna get? Um. What's your shopping list for? Um. For Gavin and Kelly this year. Anything special they ask for? Anything special? No, I don't know. Uh, Could I ask you a little advice? Which uh, you know, I, I really help with. My weakness, I don't know how to shop. I have four sisters. I have no idea how to shop for them. How do you shop for for women? I'd because go to I really want to give my get, gifts this year. I usually ask my uh, my mom or my stepmom to help me. This yeah, year, I'm pull thinking, that mic, dude. I'm thinking about this Just year. Just pull it towards you. This year? Here, yeah, pull it towards like that. Yeah. I'm thinking about this year. I, I want to do my own shopping. Yeah. I, I have no idea how to shop for them. What? It, Lover's Lane? Oh, come on. I'm being serious. How, what's what's I get? You know, everybody wants gift cards. I don't think I want to do that. I want to, you know, three of my sisters, nothing. Uh, right. Kids bop four mm-hmm. brooms. You, get each of them a broom. I would say gift cards because that's what I always get. You, you always give your gift card to your sister. Yes. Anything on um, suspect? Um, anything special? Outback Steakhouse, Express, or something like that. Hmm. I think. Gift goes never goes long, but I like I want to spoil them. I was so I was gonna, a really uh, big gift card. Yeah, I was looking for gift cards for tattoo because because I don't. How do you give a tattoo for? Well, yeah, I was saying I might get something. I don't know, man. I'm like fuck. I never got a tattoo. May as well know what it feels like. I'm starting it's to. Fun. Yeah. Hmm? Talk to myself. I was thinking getting uh, cause cause I cause I got anxiety and I always forget shit. So I was gonna put like every new day in Polish right here, How or każdy nowy dzień, right? Yeah. And then I was gonna put right here caffeine free, so I stay away from coffee because that shit just, I just get, I just, I just turn into, I really want to like kill everybody when I when I have caffeine. Like so what we have to do this? Yeah. At, at my dad's house. Yeah. The, the, my my stop. I said mm-hmm. we buy thirty one dollar coffee. What kind of coffee you think they'll buy? Buy the buy it. Thirty-one dollar coffee. Yeah, great. Sanka. I didn't ask, but they said you better finish it because this this costs thirty-one dollars a bag. Thirty? I don't know. Uh, Folgers. Starbucks. Uh, yeah, it's better than Starbucks. I could tell you that. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> like Keurig or whatever. I I, I don't know Blue that many Mountain. coffee. Yeah, forget about it. No, oh, were we getting close? I don't know. I did. I didn't oh. ask. I was so there's like, no answer to your question. I, I would say Can you we you, call them. They're probably not going to answer me. Oh. Now we'll never know. No, you yeah. just got to be like, Mom, I'm on here. Nothing, say nothing live. What kind of fucking fifty dollar coffee do you want? <laughs> Who do you think her favorite member of the team is? Favorite member of the team? Yeah, I figure Rubino's mom probably. Likes well, John the most. Never call my mom Rubino because she'll beat your ass. I was Be- referring because, to because you as the, Rubino, and it's yeah. your mom. Was it because of the Urban Dictionary definition? No, my, my mom's last name was Hayward That's my mom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so what? What so. can I call her, sweetie? I don't know. <laughs> Just she'll probably look at you funny. Like the good look? He's like, like oh, oh, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. The good funny look? Well, okay, anyhow. I, uh, we we got to keep this going here. Yeah. It's up to John. God, why? Don't put John on the spot like no, that. It's like I'm enjoying myself. It's like, God, who hasn't worked tomorrow? I do. What, what do you guys got to do tomorrow? I have to go to a concert at the Vic. How Who about, are you going to uh, see? Squeeze. Squeeze? Yeah, dude. Sing it. The- Tempted by the fruit of another, tempted but the truth is discovered. That's a dose song. 
No, it's, it's not a Dora not. song. Why well, you sing it like 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 Job <laughs> J- Jim Bowis. Well, I'm tone deaf, so with his baby <laughs> dick finger. I'm no. sorry, that was a dick move. No, it's fine. That was a baby dick move. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a little dick. A little dick. Yeah. It was yeah, it was a little dick. I, what are you doing, John? Um, tomorrow. Not no plans really tomorrow. I don't know. So you so must No again. work though, so that's good. What yeah, about Sunday? Nice. Sunday, I'm going to the city to hang out with Aniket. The city of Chicago. Yes. And Aniket is the one I met outside of my comedy show, who is cousins with someone from Lucky Boys Confusion. Correct. Okay. Cool. I am. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I I don't think I have plans for tomorrow. I got to, uh, let's see here. Sunday, I think I might have told Bill and John. Ross, have you seen Casino? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember how Joe Pesci and his brother get like beat, beat to shit in a cornfield at the end? I, I actually never seen that stuff the fittest. You've never seen what? i never seen Casino stuff in the fittest. Beat. Start to finish. Oh. Okay. Because, uh, yeah. Well, anyways... Long story short, the guy who planned that hit, the leader of the whole Chicago mob, uh, I'm going to try and keep it short, but his yeah, his son, he was like, uh, he kind of brought the whole mob down in 2007 of Chicago. Every Everybody in Casino, that whole damn story, every single motherfucker, he brought it all down because, um, I mean, from what I'm reading, I'm still reading the book, but it's basically, there's like a... There, there. It's fucking great for anybody from Chicago because you just learn about every single neighborhood, who ran what, where the biggest stuff. Like, you know, uh, I, th- I think it was like there's uh, cas- casinos and card games in Chinatown. Then there's like the Grand Avenue crew. Then there's the Elmwood Park. Then there's Melrose Park, and which which is crazy knowing the whole shit I said about you know the whole Carlos story. But yeah. point is that he there's this guy. Can I stop you there? What? The, the whole uh, January, I believe what you say, but that that pawn shop, um, yeah, that that sounds kind of. Uh, I don't have a hard time believing it. That was a hundred percent real. That is. The, there's a, there's a video. There's a news video on YouTube. It's of, not you. It's like more like Carlos kind of thing that knowing him, he, he was kind of like, I don't know how to. He, he I don't know. It's yeah. just. It was what. I think he that's he's stupid enough to get into it. Actually, I actually do believe it. What do stupid you enough? I was filling out applications. Uh, not you, uh, Carlos. To get into what? Get into the, the cult, get into the mafia business. I think I think his family was in it. His mom was hot, by the way. Well, I'm, yeah. I hope he sees this. <laughs> no, because I think his dad might have gotten assassinated. I, or I've never met his dad. I know. I I honestly I don't know what happened to his dad. And I think that's why I'm not. But joking. I do we go having a good, a lot of good times. Go to his, uh, his, yeah. his apartment though. Yeah, yeah. No, but no. It was, so well, I, I hate to stop you there. I would for the second time, you pizza holding son of a bitch. Wow, it was a uh, going to a party with one of his buddies. Yeah, it, it was when the Vasco moment when I, I took a lighter. There was one of those, uh, uh it was a uh, the post, uh, hot liquor that was hundred proof. Yeah, Stolichnaya. Yeah, that you Polish? remember that party? You took so. me to a, you took me to a party, that it was Dave. I think it was Dave. Yeah, yeah, white boy. Yeah, white boy. Yeah, his, him and his his girlfriend, and another girl. I had to pay three dollars to see her and another person, another girl go, his girlfriend go down on a girl. What? What? Yeah, you had to pay. Yeah. Three when did dollars. that happen? How come I wasn't included? You were there. They made you pay. Yeah, and it was all. I don't even think they did it. It was like it was. It, I, I at the time I thought it was awesome, but it was, it was her and it was another girl. It, it was all in black, and I was like, when I come to think about it, it's like, why did I pay three bucks when it was in the in the in, in pitch black? It was like three other people there in black. Well, you had to pay. Yeah, I paid three bucks. It was a. Where, it was in a strip club or just had white boy's house. It was at. Uh, I think it was a white boy's house. I don't know, man. I, that's weird. I don't remember. I remember a lot more than you do. I think. 
I mean, I I don't remember seeing that at all. I don't honestly. You were not there. It was bad. And well, they, that's why I don't remember. Yeah. You, Fuck. You, you were at the party, was, but you were not there. And, and if you were in Dino Bosco mode, and all you remember is pitch black, well, you know, I paid three bucks to see. You probably did see some nice blue lips in the darkness. You know? Yummy. Yeah, it was like this is what I have to say. We had a lot of good moments, you know. Yeah. And sometimes I think you, I, you and the girls. That would have been epic. I think you should show up at their door right now in the pitch no, black and say we had a lot of good moments. Yeah. I actually added on Facebook and she was like, like, uh. Was that Tina or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, she was a lot of drama. I know, I know her. I think they were, uh, they had something connected or, uh, yeah. You know, so if you if you if you didn't if you didn't please that girl the right way, they'd probably fucking kill you. Are you or surprised I said that that she was going down on the go that at that party? No, no, she was always a whore. Yeah, that's I think that's why things didn't work out with them. But um, I don't know. Oh, and I think oh, you know what? I think the girl that she went down on it's because like yeah, she was a lesbian. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that gr- they were trying to get me to go out with that girl. And then they're like, oh, no, she actually just came out of the closet. I'm like, really? After seeing me, huh? You know? No, but I mean, no. And then they uh, they had me go out with this girl, uh, Elise. Dude, this girl, Elise, I, I can't even explain it. She she looked like Paris Hilton mixed with, like, I, I don't even know, maybe. And, and I don't even really like Paris Hilton kind of looks like if... Marilyn Manson didn't get fat, so you know Bale Manson broke his legs on a on a set, right? Yeah. You think he was faking it? No. Yeah. No, no, he's. I don't. I don't think he's. He's a pretty frail motherfucker. But no, any no. Anyways, this girl, like, this was a good looking, cute blonde girl, and dude, she was fucking loaded. This is some funny shit. And this is Elise you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. She. She's like loaded as shit. They, they they lived in a mansion out in like Naperville or something or Bensonville, dude. They had like a whole the ba- half the basement was like a cardinal fitness area, just fitness mach- machines and crap. And then, uh, I think like she had she had a swimming pool in the background, a jacuzzi, like huge fucking mansion. I it, like just really rich uh, off girl and like. She just did not want to do shit with anybody in White Boys Crew, which I don't blame her, because those are some raggedy motherfuckers. For sure. Well, so, let me ask you this. So she, so she just invites me over, and she's like, "Oh, oh I just want, I'm just gonna touch myself while while you lift weights." I'm like, "Well, I'm not. I don't even. Li- I'm a little bitch. I don't even lift weights." So I try. That. She's like, "All right, we're going to the jacuzzi." Do you bubble with the so, Dave? I'm sorry. I didn't I'm fucking you. talking, you pizza holding son of a bitch. Sorry. No. Nah, so, 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 so you go to the jacuzzi. Go to the jacuzzi. She's like, "All right, I'll take my bra off," and I get about five minutes in. Her fucking dad screeches into the driveway. Oh no! <laughs> fucking. And I'm like, "Who the hell is that?" I thought everyone's on vacation, and I, I, I guess she lied because she just wanted to have a kinky night. And I'm not kidding. I fucking ran to my car, drove to my house naked, and that was like so hard. Like I, I didn't, dude. I'm telling you, you were so hard. Yeah, it, that was hard while being hard, and it's really hard to like get a grip on the like driving. It's really hard pedals. to get a grip. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. You bunch of jerks. No, <laughs> but it was. It was. It's really it it is very difficult to drive and get a grip on your brake pedal and gas pedal when you got no shoes on and you're completely in jacuzzi and <laughs> whatever the hell jizz water in there, you know. So yeah. Well, I think we gotta say uh, good night for night. What do you? Oh, I say? thought you were gonna interrupt me again. Yeah. No. Uh, Wait, you had a lot to say. Yeah, you had us. another thing to say. Remember when what? I kind of forgot. All right. Well, before we disembark, Phil said he had a special project for us. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was the Urban Dictionary. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And I no, I was just. Anyways, I was saying that I'm going on a tour Sunday. That the guy who ran all of Chicago, including what what happened in Casino, 
his son was gonna he was like you know he told his dad like yo i want out of this i want out of this mafia shit i'm not into this and his dad was like all right i'll help you out and then he lied so he wore a wire and then this guy moved out i mean i'm I'm getting the story from what i read he he moved out to arizona opened up like a you know working class started a working class life starting fresh like in goodfellas and tried to own his own pizzeria and then his dad died in 2012 because he's like, oh, I'm not going back by Chicago. That's like spitting their, in their face. So then he moved back here when he died. And now he gives tours on like, on where he, yeah, where they did mob killings. Gangland killings? Yeah. It's like, oh, over yonder is where we slit his neck. And then over here is where we tied hot wire to his testicles. Right. You know. And Ross, that's why... That that is why you don't want to give me a cigar because you smoke them a quarter of the way. I can't help it; it's a habit. It's a habit to to waste your money. Wow, there's a reason for this. What, what because I, you have no. a mental dominatrix no, that's dressed in leather. Is a reason. When I'm on break, I know it's a 15 minute break. Usually at Jewel. Yeah. I when I put a when I when I go back in. How much I smoke that, that's 15 minutes, usually. So I, I put it out, and, and I go back in the walk. And you never finish it? Because I don't have enough time to finish it. So it's, it's But like, you have another break. No, I only, usually I only have one break, 15 minutes. Well, you get off of work. What if you're breathing really rapidly that day? Like if you had a coffee oh, or that, a panic That is t- actually the reason. That you're not the only person to say that. I have 15 minutes, so I know when to go back in when I'm at that point. So it's more a habit when I put it out. I don't even realize that I'm doing it. All right. What are you doing this weekend? Walking. Okay. Everybody's working for the weekend. Everybody's working. Yeah. So that's signing out. That's signing out? Yeah. All right. Ross is done. Thank you, everyone out there, for watching. Thank you, everyone. Yep. This has been... Hear nothing. See nothing. Uh, uh, classic uh, job. Uh, Ross. Roscoe. Yeah. Ross is here too. Get fucked up, dude.